recording? Guys, welcome. This is going to be my first time playing chapter three of Poppy Playtime. That was such a YouTuber intro. That was badass. Um, what am I doing? Continue a new game. Continue, yeah? No, no, no. New game? Whoa. What the hell do I do? Okay. Backseaters, I need help. New game? All right, thank you. Let me turn my lights down. Oh my god, that was speedy that said that. That was like such an unreliable source. I just trusted speedy. That was like the most unreliable source. I thought yellow said that. I think title has been changed. Oh my god, the meme sound. What is this furry shit? Ah! They're all catnap! doing it! Please, help us go to sleep, catnap! We need it, catnap! Please help us! Sleep, sleep, sleep! Everyone knows Huggy Wuggy and Poppy Playtime, but are your children safe from Playtime Co.'s latest toy? Holy shit, it's uh, Jacksepticeye. Playtime Co.'s own Smiling Critters, a limited series cartoon meant to celebrate the release of the toys sharing its name. Let me know if the game's loud enough, guys. Now face the fire sparked by the inclusion of one key member. This is Catnap. And like the others of his line, you just... Pull his little tail and seems innocent enough. However, parents across the country report their children experiencing strange and often violent nightmares. And beside them, their little grinning catnap doll. Now with controversy growing, Playtime Co. has announced the recall of all catnap toys from the Smiling Critters line. His image cleared from all promotional material. But damage already done, will disappearing be that easy? The exact cause of these incidents still unknown, only one thing appears glaringly certain. Your children are not safe with catnap. That's freaking so scary, man. I'm so freaking scared. Anyone here still sleep with plushies? I got one. It's a bear and he's wearing Winnie the Pooh's skin. What the fuck is this? You have a giant duck? That's on brand. Am I a bear? Oh. Let's grab some titties. Holy fucking mouse sense, man. Dude. What? 200 mouse sense? Jesus Christ. I was joking. Two, seven mouse sense is so low. It's so low. I could barely like look around and the walls are caving in on me. So that's like a joke. Let's see. JB, did I say hi to you? By the way, I hope you're doing well. Holy crap. Are you fucking serious? I already died. Okay, literally. What the fuck? I, I, I already died. Dude, I literally already died. All right. No, 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 no. no. That doesn't count. That doesn't count. Something about a train? Oh yeah, we got on a train in the last game. Okay, okay, sorry. Uh, I was joking, I was joking. Wait, there is so much shake. Oh, right, there we go, there we go. Dude, 
Did anyone else turn off screen shake when they played this? Can I climb? Look around for objects. Oh, uh, uh, a lever. Oh! That's sick. Oh, fuck. Oh, I remember. I rage quit the last chapter. Remember, guys? I had a bug. There was like some kind of bug. Yeah, I'm turning that off. Sorry, sorry. My apologies. Um, we are going to be turning off camera shake. It is very, very exaggerated. Exagerado. Okay. Dude, this game looks very, very beautiful. Can I go down there or is that going to kill me? Ah! This is so loud. Let me turn it down a touch. Is this not where I came from? E to interact. Interacting with the big red door. Okay, I'm pretty good at the game. Yeah. Oh my god, I was about to go for it. Alright. A little bit of parkour. Is that going to go down? Okay. Whoa. It's fine. Where is it restarting me? Okay. I wonder if I can go there. No, I can't. So... Oh, okay. Alright, I was... Okay, as soon as it goes up, you can't move. Like, you're literally dead. I was expecting to launch myself off, but I, I just kind of run straight off. I was going to use the momentum of the thing coming up to launch myself off. Dude, the hands are so fun. Alright. Okay, there we go, there we go. Do I got like a flashlight, man? Oh. Oh! What the fuck? Can I jump while holding it? Oh, okay, okay. Alright, that's gonna take like a little bit to get used to, but it's good. I like the hands. What's happening here? Anyone else freaking scared yet? I'm so freaking scared. Maybe should move my cam up. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. What do we got here? Law? I think maybe I do need to increase my brightness a little bit. Oh, and then I like send... Wait, wait. Hold on. So I put my hand here. And then, I remember some of this from the last game. Wait, is, isn't that like power? Oh, here we go. Power brick. Okay, I need to find the other one. Oh. 
What? Or is there enough? Oh, there's enough power. Okay, my bad, my bad. Can I pull that one out? Press. The game is like eerily quiet. Bubba Bubba Finn. Oh, and I carry like a little bit of charge with me here. Oh, I can keep doing it? Wait, let me go back. I can like fuck with him. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude. Let's see if, if there's something I have to do. Oh, I still need that. Are you freaking serious? Oh, troll. Okay. So let's see. Where's the, where's the phone? Hey, hey, can you hear me? You look kind of lost. I don't want you to die, so I'm going to help you. Check this out. Look at the tube thing on the back wall. Ready? Boom! You can use that battery to open the door. Hello? Thank you. Thanks! Whoa! Did you do that? Oh, fuck! I, okay. I he gave me the battery, but I had the battery from the last area. What a nice kid, right? I'm their mission? Oh, that's the train that crashed. Nice to meet you, Ollie. Nice to meet you. The game is so eerily quiet. Interesting. Aim the beam at the power input while touching the power source and fire. Can I open this up? Oh, okay, okay. Well, I feel like I'm about to fucking explode. I'm about to explode some shit. Can I, like, move this around or something? Dude! This is the hardest game ever! Grab the handle. Oh, hold on. Okay, grab the handle. Okay, th they didn't give me that. Grab the handle. Oh, yeah, yeah, real. Oh, and then you press Q. Okay, okay, sweet. Badass. Okay. Yo, Kyle, how are you? How have you been, man? Yeah, they didn't they didn't uh, give me like the, the the instructions on how to move the handles. Would this be E or just pull it? Okay, pull. Well, what did I just do there? Close open. I don't think I need this battery, but I'm determined to take it with me the entire game. I'm gonna take the battery with me for the entire game. <laughs> Dude, the trip was good, man. It was good. I'm sad I'm back, but it's good to be back streaming. But I am sad to be back in Australia. I was having a really good time with family. No! Okay, I was determined for the battery to stay with me and it's already gone. No, they didn't explain that the Q&E, um, how to use Q&E until the end there.
faith, the common man has lost it. Each answer was different. And I could perhaps see some little truth in each. But I think each was also missing something. Something simple. You see, not one of them. Yeah, no, go back in the volume, see I'm right. Where are we going? There is nothing more gratifying to my soul than being the reason for a child's smile. To be the spark that ignites all their hopes and dreams. I don't know what is happening about. Am I going to like a toy factory? That we may create a better world. I don't know. Yeah, do it. Our children need not be afraid. One where they are protected. After all, this company and its toys are nothing without them. These children deserve to smile. They deserve to love. And they deserve a safe home. That is why it is with enormous pleasure that as the founder of Playtime Co., I announce... Playcare! Our very own on Wow. But it's not um, I can turn it on the volume. The like, turn up the volume in the, the dialogue settings. I don't know when this game takes place. Do you, so you guys want louder uh, dialogue? I can turn the dialogue up if you want. I can just set it all up to be honest as well. Yeah. Yeah, okay, let me turn it all up and then lower uh, everything else a little bit. All right, let me know how this is. Bring joy, inspiration, and smiles to all who enter these doors. For what gives Yo, what's up, Vico? Hello? Not a smile. Okay, shut up, motherfucker. Like, for real. All right. Ring, ring. How do I pick that up? It's me again, Ali. Cool. Ollie, you're so loud. going on here a whole lot oh <laughs> can I um pick up the phone the fuck is this oh the key ah gas production key True. Just to the left of the cable car we took down. Um, where was the cable car? Up here? To the left? Which left? Our left or their left? Oh my god! Rubber ducks. Probably here. Oh shit, what if it's that room up there? Wait, what's up here? It's like an exit. No, I wouldn't be here, would it? Ooh. Where am I going? Should I have done a bit more exploring? Is that a bee? Like a bee dog? Oh shit, what is this? Who's him? Probably have a few dumb safeguards for you to work around, but I think you can do it. I'll call you once it's done. This shit reminds me of stoichiometry. Anyone do that? Um. 
Okay, interesting. So we have to get... We have to get the gas from there to there. Okay, but the power's offline. And we need uh, two little power cubes for there for it to work. Okay. This is the only door that seems to be open right now. Yeah, the law seems to be kind of crazy. Hello? My focus said, oh. My focus said, oh. Let's go put this in. What happened there? Oh. I'm scared of when the scary happens. Press two, swap hands. Oh, shit. Oh, okay, we got the Freddy Fazbear hand. Some lore. Can I put that in there? Oh. Oh, that's sick. Oh, that's really, really cool. I like that a lot. Why is there blood in such a happy game? Be play time with some toxic. Yeah, sure. Whoa, I like that. Oh fuck, I fucking fell. Uh is there anywhere for me to hold on to? No. Um I suppose. Oh. Oh, there's one underneath. That's sick. Ah. Can I? No, imagine I could pull that that way like that. I can't make that though, can I? Unless I can like... Well, no, it's completely pulled towards me now. I have to go this way. Game takes place in 2005. Interesting. Uh, I guess I gotta... Oh, wait, I get it. I get it. Genius. Alrighty. Come with me. We need to jump over. Alright. Okay. Got a little bit to do here. Oh, and that powers it. Okay. Oh, it's just showing me where it's coming from. Oh, no, no. It does power it. So what am I trying to power in here? I assume the light can go all the way through. Wait, this is going to be... Oh, no. It's over here. Okay, okay. So. What? What the heck? Wait, let me, let me see. Wait, hold on. Oh, shit. So I don't need to be holding current for, for it to actually power, right? What's the point of this being here? Can I fall into there and fucking soft lock my game? So, I mean, that's powering that. Correct. Does that, that doesn't need to be powering that though. Why would that need to do that? It's like the only, oh, you know what? It's like double voltage though. Wait, that has two voltage lines. Is that why? Think of the hydration. Oh shit. Yeah, let me, uh... Mm, mm -mm. I'm, I'm confused as to how... That one can't go over there. Can it go through? Actually, wait. Hold on. Did this do anything? Oh, should I just change my hand? Hold on. What did hitting this do? Did that open that, maybe? And I didn't realize. 
No. I'd wanted to open that. Okay, so if that... So I need to open that, um, that grate there. Oh, wait. Maybe I gotta high five that little, little Johnny. Okay, okay. That's making it go. What is that opening though? I can't jump up there. I don't really get like the purpose of hitting, like hitting that, you know what I mean? Like I don't get the purpose of Unless I had- to, Oh, you know what? Could it be that I had to switch hands? It's alright, we'll figure it out. Yeah, we're gonna- oh, I'll figure it out eventually. Is that like out of range? Maybe this one will be in range. I need to open that unless surely. Oh, what the fuck? I jumped it before. Do 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 do. Wait, let me know. Dude, this is kind of interesting, man. Okay, but you guys said everyone got stuck on this one, yeah? Like, this is where most streamers get stuck. We are kind of stupid motherfuckers, us streamers. Dude, like, I was thinking that. I was thinking that does something, but... It doesn't seem to. That doesn't do anything about enough power on it. Spins them both at the same time. Why is it not taking power? Yeah, I, I guess... I, I'm sure there's like an easy fucking solution. I just don't fully understand like... These things yet. Oh, Do not let this man cook. What's up, Bowser? <laughs> Do not let this man cook. I'm fucking... I'm frying right now, man. I am frying, but not in a good way. Think of the restart, dude. Why is that not grabbing? Oh, unless... No, no, no. What the fuck? Tell me why. Do I get like another effect if I... Why does it look like it's about to grab? Oh, okay, man. Wait, what would that do? Ah. Uh huh. Ah. Because it needs two hands? Real. Okay, okay, okay. I, I, I had a feeling I needed to get two, like, strands of voltage to go there. I see, I see, I see. Okay, I get that, I get that. Real. That was cool. I like that. They don't really show you enough of this for you to, like, get that right away, so I can understand why people get stuck on that. And then, uh, we need to do it again. 
So that's definitely understandable. Oh. Can you explain it? What do you mean? Saw? Greetings. Alex, hope you're doing good. What's up? Oh, fuck. I do it again. What do you mean explain that? If, if motherfuckers need explanation of that after, like... I'm scared of you. I'm actually fucking terrified if you need, like, further explanation after, after seeing me do that. Explain the logic? I mean, it's just... You're routing, like, two sets of power. You're doubling the voltage each time it goes through. Immortal, hello. Wait, what the fuck? Why did that not open? Oh, wait, lol. Like, explain why it works for future puzzles that work? I mean, yeah, you can explain it if you want, but I, I feel like it's, um... It's pretty chill. Okay, so we just opened that. Yeah, once you, like, realize, like, what it's for, then it's, like, fine. So, yeah, a longer distance? Yeah, yeah like, yeah, I, I fucking realize that. That's, uh, that's why I did I, di I mean, I didn't solve that on accident, like... Know what I'm saying? What the fuck? It did take me a while though, but once I like figured out that the two hands can like go in through each other, then like, yeah, it, it made sense. But it did take me a while to get there. In the statue, like, um, back in the middle, right? As how are you doing today? Let me investigate this a little bit more. What's going on over here? Interesting. All right, we're gonna go back. Intriguing, intriguing. What the fuck was that sound? Wherever we born, sorry to hear that, Azza. But indeed we ball. Alright. A lot of load screens. Well, I mean just for like the areas we go through. It's so dark. Tell me the ending. Don't do that because I don't want the ending to be spoiled for other people. I, I mean, I wouldn't really mind if. I mean, I don't really care too much about the law. I'm more about the, the puzzles and the scares. Um, oh yeah. So he left. Uh, if he left a key in the same spot as last time. I swear I just grabbed one, but... Gas production. Toy store. What else have we got? School? Home sweet home playhouse? Interesting. Spoiler, there's monsters in this game? That's actually fucked up. Alright. I take it back. I'm actually very serious about spoilers. Okay, wait. I swear I grabbed the key just then, right? Let's see. Where is this leading to? Did I miss something? Huggy bends my shit. Oh wait, let me press this. Oh, there's no power. Absolutely none. Is there like an objective list somewhere? Oh, mm. thank uh, you. It's Ant Lion. Thank you for the thank you for the sub, man. Thank you for the prime, guys. Please show Ant Lion some love. Thank you, dude. What the fuck? Oh, there's another door. 
Oh, no, this is an authorized personnel door. Interesting. Ah, uh, thank you, dude. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoy the ad-free viewing and the emotes as well. Let me double check. Are you done? Well, you're a fucking dog. Any lore? Oh, maybe? Damn, those yellow buttons look mad pushable. I'm gonna get chased soon. Thank you, I really appreciate that, man. Thank you, thank you. That means a lot. And I hope you continue to enjoy the lurks. System monitor. I see that. I see the system monitor, but... I don't see the objective here. Did I, like... Uh, did I grab what I had to grab? Wait. I did grab the key. I did grab the key. I'm fucking griefing, man. I did. I just didn't realize it. Okay, my bad, my bad. So, I have to go to home sweet home now. Do I have a map? I mean, this is a playhouse. Slying? I don't listen to a model. A model feels unloved, that's all. No, a model, this motherfucker's trolling. Oh, surely, yeah. This looks like a house. This looks like home sweet home. Kind of weird. I didn't get much notification that I, I grabbed the key, to be honest. When do you ever troll? You are in the constant state of trolling. But it's right, so am I, so. Holy. Whoa! What the hell was that? I just got like teleported into the room. Am I gonna go to sleep? EP. Whoa. This is very Bowser's, uh, Bowser's staircase. Whoa, I got no hands. Need to be louder? Oi, I can't see shit, man. I, like, I can't. Happy and fun? Why was it love? Why was it done? Whoa. Why did the game do that? Local authorities report that the body of a young boy has been found on the estate of the late Elliot Ludwig an esteemed toy maker and originator of the Playtime Company. At this time, an identity for the child awaits official confirmation. Found in an upstairs bedroom in a large duffel bag, officers on scene report that the remains appear to have been disturbed. Organs, as well as key bones from the skeletal structure, were reported missing from the body. It is unknown at this time whether this extraction was, in fact, the cause of death. Okay, that's scary. There's like a lot of rooms here, man. Tragic news this morning as of 9.45 a.m. Was that shadow in real life? Was that like a shadow cast on my screen? Or what the fuck was that? Following recent events, Playtime Co. was asked for any comment regarding the discovery. This is what they had to say. Quote, It's sickening. Elliot Ludwig was a great man. Alright, I think if this whole game is a puzzle, let alone what others now claim, he had a deep love in his heart for children like this one, making the actions of whoever planted this body all the more sick. We look forward to clearing his good name, both in the public eye and in the eyes of the law. 
Um, this... This must be some kind of maze. Right here! Right here! Hey, DJ. I'm, I'm gonna scream in a second, man. I'm gonna freaking scream! That's all there's something behind me. 200%, 250%, 250%, 250%. Ah! Oh my god! Could you guys see him? Fuck. Despite Playtime's proclamation of Ludwig's innocence, many believe his reclusive and mysterious nature displayed over the previous decades lends suspicion to this claim. When questioned, Ludwig's neighbors indicated that he would often return to his home in strange hours of the night and depart again before sunrise. Some believed he was sick. Others that don't move. Don't move an inch. Playtime Co., it seems, tend <laughs> to keep Elliot's name with the Ritz brand regardless. What is sure to be a long legal battle will follow. Was he serious that I shouldn't move? Was that real? Was that Despite real advice? Despite Playtime's proclamation of Ludwig's innocence, many believe his reclusive and mysterious nature displayed over the previous decades lends suspicion to this claim. When questioned... If I jump, it kind of breaks... Oh! Oh! What it... If I jump, it kind of breaks my immersion, you know, and then I, I don't get scared. Oh, bro, what is that, like, bug? What, what? What is this fallout? This Fallout stuff right now. FBI! It's chill, man. It's chill. Classic, classic, classic. Fucking... I don't want to run the other way.
did this just change? This changed because it was definitely uh, a direction to my left before. Not being in the I'm communicating with him. Do I gotta follow him, guys? Get up. Get up. Get oh my god, I'm gonna shit my pants. This suit is gonna jump at me, and I'm, gonna, I'm actually gonna poo my pants. This looks like the exit. <clears throat> In the audio. Okay. The hell was that, man? Dude, I'm sweating. Where are my hands? employees and welcome to your first day here in playtime we're certain that in the days to come you'll find your new family here every bit as loving and supportive as your own feel free to wander the halls sit in the mess for lunch or watch our children play and learn to their little hearts content join the innovationists where the bounds of science are continuously pushed or join the counselors of play care whose diligence and care for our children will help shape a brighter future just you see. Now, every one of you has your part in that future, so should you come back tomorrow feeling unhappy for where you are, or what you've done, worry not, for your supervisor is here and happy to listen. And, should you come back years later, your conscience finally getting the better of you, May you descend into the dark and the dust, finding all that awaits you are incomprehensible horrors, each hungry for your return, each eager that they might find you. Perhaps they'd smile at you from a shadow, their smiling mouths full of teeth and meat and plastic, watching and waiting patiently for their turn at a warm welcome. Or perhaps they won't allow you such time to figure your place in the world you'd left. A world that's theirs now. Welcome home. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh my God. Oh my god! I'm not fast enough! Wham! Oh, oh, that wall is- there's nothing there! No! What am I? Dude, that wall was see-through for a second, right? Oh, we were meant to get caught. That wall was see-through! Did you see that? Translucent. Alright, cool. We got our hands back. That's all that matters. Alright, I'm not scared anymore. Who was that? Was that playtime? Huh. Okay. I'll go through that. All right, let's see, let's see. Oh, it's Huggy. Oh, no, my voice is... It's alright. It's just, uh... 
kind of trail. Okay, so both these parts here, so left and right will open that. Let's see what's under. Ooh, nice ride, bro. Oh, that's definitely, I'm definitely gonna be able to wind this and break that door, right? Break those boxes. Oh, that's sick. Two hands. Badass. Who was the like sexy furry from the, the last game? Gas mask. You guys don't remember the one with like long legs and she was like pink? Mommy? Oh, you said that, not me. That's all you, man. It was you? Oh, fuck. that motherfucker looks like Aiden bro gonna be real I can't say a whole lot what's that noise I think that's me breathing wait Nice little handprint there to tell me. That's me breathing, right? I'm wearing a gas mask. Oh, can I, I, think I, I think I can take it off. Wait, I think F. Oh, beautiful. All right. I have really bad asthma. Ah! La -da -dim, la -da -dum, la -da -dum. Jump pad anywhere? Help! Help! Help me! I'm dying! Hmm. We need a second one, yeah? Or we need another power block. Like you can hide there anymore. The sounds of the doors is quite loud. Oh, hello! Oh, she looks fine. Like she's she's happy. Is that mommy? No, that's not mommy. Mommy, I remember looked a little. I'm gonna let her be. We need to find one more power block. One more power blanche. Hmm. Wait. That's the half window. Okay, hold on, wait. That's probably opened the door. Wait. It looks breakable, but I can't. Okay, so I think I think we might have actually opened the other door out there, the half sun. Unless the game is freaking troll. Hardest, most confusing section, you reckon? We'll see. Realize, realize, realize. What's up, uh, Loke? I said a door open. Pull these, but I can't do anything with them. Did you lose your VIP too? Uh, I believe it was Lichbane. Lichbane took your VIP. Believe it or not. What else there was to explore here? So 
So is there even any point in having the um the the green hand out anyway? All right, let's try to get to this room. This room, it, it's blocked off here to me for a reason. So let's. Can I even open it? No, it's boarded. Okay, okay, it's boarded. Okay, so let's follow the power. Normally, that's the best thing to do. That will be our lead. Did I ever go through here? Oh, I didn't. Okay. Verifying some shit. Oh, very cool, very cool. Oh, I hit that shit. Alright, I'm gonna shut you because I don't trust no animatronic. Oh shit, my bad, my bad. Fucking war zone. Freddy Fazbear? I love Freddy Fazbear. Is there like a show? Is there a show, uh, show I can watch? A look. Subject is stable. Designated 1322. Two. Clear neural abnormalities were detected in his recent checkup. Though highly irregular, we've pulled him from the home sweet home just before lights out to perform. What are you doing with my friend? I. What are you doing out of bed? How did you get in here? Is Kevin sick? Why did you take him away? I. I. Yes. Kevin is very sick. Very, very sick. We want to make him better, but he can only get better if we take him to where we can provide proper care and give him proper rest. Well, do you really think he will be okay? I should think so. We're good at what we do, son. We paid attention in school, learned, and got our proper rest when we needed it. Just like you need it now, I should think. Come now, let's get you on back to bed. Motherfucker gaslight in my okay. shit. It's been a pleasure meeting you, Joseph. And I promise you, your friend will be alright. When you see him again, he'll have never been better. What would they have done with him? Now, uh, I wonder if that was lore or if that was actual, like, um... Like, shit I had to do, you know what I mean? Hmm. Just pure law. Pure fucking law, man. Okay, okay. Damn, I thought I kind of progressed there, but that's all right. All right, follow the cables. Did I push that button? Oh, maybe that works now, actually. No, okay. 0% power. 0% power, nice. I can't pull that out once I put it in. It looks like I could get up. Oh, I can't get up there. Why, why have I not done that yet? What the fuck? Why did I not do that? I'm trolling. Okay. What have we got around here? Ah, thank you. Holy shit. Look, I just took the light. Ah! Pardon me? I 
Okay, nice. Alrighty. What else have we got up here? Who's that? Oh, hello. <laughs> That's so cool. What did they do to Huggy Wuggy? The Hour of Joy. Okay, so that's opening up some areas beneath us. Okay. What have we got up there? I just heard other footsteps, I swear. Hi there. I'm Piggy Piggy. Let's eat. Grilled beef? Delicious. Grilled chicken? Down the hat. Is he going to eat pork? Okay. Blade unicorn. Mm. Okay. Still hungry. Oh my god, he's gonna eat. Hey, what do you say you and I be friends? Hi there, I'm Piggy Piggy. Rump, rump, food, what? Hi, rump, rump, chicken. Down the hatch. Okay, a little bit creepy. Saving. So did they all? Yeah, I wonder what the lore is. There. Oh, I got a. I have a green type. What? What are you doing? Hey, what's up, Shady? Hello, hello. I'll put that shit in. Game said. Game said. She. Where am I putting power? Oh, hello. What just happened? Slightly different type. Oh, okay. What I feel like I'm not supposed to be going in here. Uh, what uh? What did you build? We're in the fucking Jimmy John of my right now. Punk, holy troll. Stream's good. I had um a bug earlier on my PC, which was kind of troll, but we're fine now. I have to restart stream though, which kind of sucks nuts. Huh. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, you've got the battery over there. Hold on, how the heck? Hold on, did the door I came through close? It totally did, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Okay, that's what was confusing me. With the PC, dude, I fucking wish that was it. I don't know what caused it. Oh, wait, this is open. There's a hole here. Oh, and that one actually gives me power. I couldn't really tell the difference between the one that gives me power and the one that doesn't. That's like not really glowing like it, the other one was. Hmm. Oh, it just opens and closes or what's the story there? Actually hit it from here. Okay. <laughs> so fucking terrible. I need the battery in your back, bro. <laughs> oh my god, it's fucking looking at me. I I need I need the battery. I hope you don't mind. Oh, he just looks at me. Fuck you. He's not going to make it easy. 
<laughs> All right. Yo, Gabby, hello. How are you? Okay, I have to get it to stop somehow. I need to max me in. What did that say? Hmm, these look like escape routes. More than anything else. I don't know if I want to go down there. Let's see. Some power. Is this to shortcut everything up? Hmm. Looks like I gotta get it there, but I don't know how to move the power all the way over there. Oh, you know what? Down here. Oh, fuck, I ran out there. Is there a way for me to get up quickly? Fuck, that's troll. Alrighty. Apex, when? When does Gucci want to play? Oh, okay, we're fine, we're fine. Oh, shit, he doesn't see. Oh, fucking yoink. Oh, what the hell? Oh, the delay was bad? Really, on TV? Like, with the Twitch app? When the FNAF, what's up, everyone? It kind of is, it's like FNAF, but like more geared towards like even more like, like it's more furry like. Okay, we need another one of those. Okay, okay. Ask, yeah, I'm, uh... God, I think I'm kind of down whenever. It just depends. Depends. Did you get up to anything today, Gabby? Where are, I don't know how far through we are. We've been playing for about an hour right now. Apparently, it's like a three-hour thing. We've taken a little bit of time on some of the puzzles. All right, we took the battery out of that motherfucker. Dude, the music's kind of peaceful, man. I, this is, like, not a scary game. Why my hand bend like that? Oh, really? FNAF doesn't like fuck with knives? Interesting. back here okay okay um we're still looking for one more power block i definitely prefer to prefer this over like fnaf i like these puzzles fnaf i don't really like the uh the gameplay i can play like it for a little i can play it for a little bit but then the gameplay loop gets incredibly boring i don't think it's this way but we'll try Oh, you know what? No, I don't think it is. Um, could it be back at the start? Oh, you know what? There were definitely areas I didn't fall into before. I don't know. There were definitely, like, areas I, I walked over and I just, like, continued advancing through. Oh, I'm going to be down here. Like one of these? It wouldn't be that. Let's try. Let's try drop down here. Hmm. Oh yeah. Friends forever. Yay! Yippee! 
Okay, what the fuck? It just leads me back here again, though. Oh, hello. Hello, hello. I'm going to assume this isn't going to work like this. I, I doubt this is going to be like a test of speed. Wait, it kind, it kind of looked like it might have been actually. Oh, I can grab it back. Hold on. That's definitely not. Way better than other. Oh, really? This is definitely. Let's try again. It's gonna be like a more optimal way of. Oh, you know what? You know what? You know what? It's like this, maybe. Hold on. Fuck, I fucked it. Shit, hold on. I'm gonna fucking lost. Wait, wait, wait. let me let that reset. Could be trolling here. No, I can't grab it. I thought I was gonna be able to grab it from there to make me go faster. That looked like that's what it was supposed to be, right? Huh. Think of the hydration. Thank you. I'm gonna keep trying it like that, but it feels wrong. It feels wrong doing it like that. Fuck, man. Oh shit, Avion, how far are you? Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Dude, it can't be like that. That's like... You have to be like way too quick there. I, I don't think I can like... Getting a bit badass. Yeah, let me investigate like around there. I can't like actually put that power through. Oh, you still don't get what happens in this part. It's kind of like hard to navigate around this whole area, I feel. Dude, like, I feel like that's it. I feel like that has to be it, yeah? Surely, that, that like, looks so... Looks kind of intentional. Oh my god, it actually was it. You just have <gasps> Fuck! Oh my god, Jesus Christ. Oh my god. That's actually it. You just have to be super, super fast. 
Yo, what's up, Splooch? Is that how everyone does it? A good day keeps the monsters away. Two hugs a day is better in every way. Hugging forever. Hugs are non-stop. I'm gonna hug you until you pop. A hug a day. I'm gonna hug no, you. No, yeah, yeah, I, I, it's just it, it felt kind of wrong, but that was that was good. You have to be like super, super quick. Uh, think of the follow Invader Zim. Thank you. Welcome. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of um. You have to be super quick there, like. There's almost no time for error. No uh, margin for error. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha. What am I, Moss? Wait, did I just see someone there? Oh, hello. Wait, this was like the area I was just in before, yeah? Is it like... Shit got like trashed very quick. Where's mommy at? Got both halves done. That's so staticky. I can't hear my favorite animatronics. Okay. All right. What's this? High five. Use the turret. Press E to use the turret. Oh. Shit, okay. Um. Hold on, what was the button to pull? Oh, oh, and then I can, like, activate it. Okay, wait. Alright. Alright, let's have a look and see... What the overall goal is. Start. Have a lovely night. Thank you, Star, for hanging out. We will see you later. when it stays. Wait, how do I grab power again? I'll grab power from that. Okay, wait. Oh, okay, this is this is open now. Okay. Now that can't get pulled over. Would there be a different function for each of these. No, but that's not gonna be able to go up there. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. Okay, that looks good. Where did that just go? Okay, that's blocking it now. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Right, I'm stupid. Okay, 
okay, okay. Hold that down. Hold it down. Beautiful. Alrighty. Very cool, very cool. Very cool. Dude, uh, when does this game get scary, man? Well, it's not soon. There's someone in the fucking walls, man. You're in my world. Okay. All right. Very good. Hey, I gotta move this gas there. I, I've like not moved the gas at all. What's the story there? God, what the fuck? No, no, let go. Who is this little bitch? You didn't do anything wrong. Oh, it's Puppy. They're actually here to help. What? This place makes her tense. I'm glad that Ollie could help you get this far. He's the reason we found you at all. Looks like the train crash hurt us both. Been through so much. You deserve an explanation. Come on. Law? Hey, you'll be okay. We'll be okay. I'm ready. Oh shit, am I going without you guys? Are you guys coming? Oh yeah. Listen, I'm not your enemy, but I can't just let you leave. Yeah, I'm, I'm confused. What's happening down here is bigger than all of us. And I need you, so I can get revenge on those monsters who tortured you. So Kiss is good? Us. They didn't act alone. They're disciples of the original. The prototype. Do the honors. I got you. What I do? It's fucking nuked. Prototype knows we're coming by now. If you try to escape, he'll kill you before you ever reach that front door. He's the reason I was trapped in that god awful case for so long. You have no idea of the things he's done. Let me help you kill him. Let me help you save everyone. We've all seen you, how capable you are. You killed Huggy, you killed Mommy. You freed me. You are perfect. Wasn't Huggy chasing me though? Catnap is coming. He's the final obstacle the prototype has placed against us. We can't stay here. Keep yourself safe. Ollie will call you. Why are your eyes so bloodshot? Okay, let's go. Wait, where am I going? Ollie? Wait. What the fuck? Oh. Hey, hey, it's me again. It seems like Poppy explained everything now, and she turned on the dome's backup power. Now the plan from here is pretty simple. We need to restore power to the gas production zone. First, go back to the home sweet home building you were just in. Oh. You should be able to find a big power cord somewhere around the porch. Oh, cool. Grab it and plug it in. All right, I feel like I'm in like a Blues Clues episode. Um,
I mean, honestly, like the game is running well, but there are times where I notice stutters. I, I think it's because they got so many like load screens and so many, um, they got a lot of like, uh, yeah, like, uh, yeah, load screens, like loading barriers. I noticed like stutters there, but I mean, really, I should not be experiencing like any stutters on my PC. But I have everything maxed right now. Oh shit, I'm wrapping this cord around this shit, man. Where am I plugging this shit in? Awesome! Look at that! Remember that generator you turned on inside of Home Sweet Home? Well, that was a backup generator for just that building. And every building should have one. I gotta do that to every that building? Just take it Home Sweet Home's backup power and routed it here. I gotta go to the school We're now. Already Oh, that's not the school? I think that's probably the school. That's the hardest part, really? And now it's just scary? Lich, yeah, we chillin', we chillin', Lich. I'm enjoying it. It's been pretty fun so far. Damn, what did that do to my boy? Where's the school key? Road closed. What if the game got harder for me right now? Would you guys judge me? Wait, this can't be the school. Wait, what the heck? Oh, the school's over here. I'm griefing. That's like a toy store. I was going to say, like, the school can't have the word toy above it. Vamos a la escuela. Que vamos a estudiar hoy. Perhaps. Reading is fun. That's so true. Okay, take this quick. Turn on the generator, leave, and plug the school's power cord into the center. No fucking drama, man. No I drama. I think I can connect to you on that side of the dome. And you won't be alone. I won't be alone. There's someone else in there too. Are you Is fucking serious? Oh my god, now I'm cut off from my boy. Okay, I'm a little bit scared. I'm scared. What do you mean there's someone with me? Dude, if I didn't see the jump glove used anymore? Oh. Out of you. Hmm? Barb? Oh. Barb says you're looking for your co workers. Catnap wouldn't like that you're here. You should leave. For your own safety. I can turn the volume up a little bit if you guys would like. Just let me know. Oh, hello. First one's always the easiest. Where did that thing go? Was that Miss Delight?
Oh, hello. I lied. The battery was easy to get. A little bit too easy. <sighs> hmm. What was that? Um, what was this power required for? been down there. I don't think there was a node anywhere else. Unless the node's down here. I don't want to go down here again though, because she was just here. Badass. Oh, fuck. Is there a type anywhere here? Stop! E to interact, troll. It's broken. Alright. Show. Oh. Very, very eerie. Very, very eerie. Oh, this is a very long passageway. Never a good sign. She just fought on the end of the mic there. That was badass. Let one rip. Let one thunder. Hello, students. Find my sisters and I to learn facts across a variety of subjects. Press my button to hear some facts on anatomy. Did you know that there are 60,000 miles of blood vessels in the human body? For comparison, the Earth around the equator is... Is that real? That's real, yeah. Not in my body. <laughs> Wait. Attention in class. Hello? Did you want to learn more about human organs? Pay close attention in class. Es que te quiero. I'm griefing, don't worry, I'm griefing. I'm doing that on purpose. I'm so damn stupid. Okay, shut the fuck up. I freaking love electricity, man. That's the only reason I'm doing the same shit over and over. Wait. Okay, what the Whoa, 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 whoa. Yoink. Oh, she fucking did I just like turn that bitch off? Oh no wait a second. Oh my fucking god, fuck this. Oh my fucking god. 
No. Where, where am I looking? Oh my god, my, my aim just went crazy. Ah! Okay, what was that? She tapped straight around the corner. What was that? You saw that, yeah? She had Commando Pro on. No, that was bullshit. That was actually bullshit. She faced through the wall. <sighs> Let's get the shit out of me. Where the fuck is she? Wait, what? Oh, wait. Wait, did I already do it? I guess so. Wait, I've lost it. How is this fair? Do it again? Oh. Oh my god, I screamed too hard. I felt that in my neck. Is that not what I did before, guys? Hold on. I swear that's what I did before. Fucking true. Oh my god, you're so right. I did it accidentally before. Oh my god. I remember that from the first game. Oh my god. I, no, no. I forgot about that from the first uh, the first chapter. Alright. Shotty a little baddie. Can I see you across here? What the fuck? That doesn't count? Are you fucking serious? I'm literally looking at you. She's fast, man. Oh. Then what? Oh, she can't get through or can she? That's some fucking horse shit, man. That's some fucking horseradish. Are you fucking around? She's actually coming, bro. <laughs> Fuck. Will she grab me here or... She go. I can still see her from here technically or what? Oi! Oi! Okay, I came, I came to do what I had to do. So 
So I assume I'm just getting out now. Not this again. What the fuck? Wait! Did I bug her? Where'd she go? Right? Is she supposed to be chasing me right now? Are you sure they're not my own footsteps? Wait, wait, am I stuck? I think I'm stuck. Are you fucking serious? Um. Yeah, I must be stuck here. Need a battery? Yeah, I put one in. Oh, right, right. I can fuck around with them. Wait. I need two. Oh, one battery, one battery. Oh shit, is that her? Um. I gotta time this better, hang on. And she's supposed to be like with me the entire time right now? I mean, what do I do? Do I just do it again? Okay, hold on. Do I do it again? Because like, she bugged? No, I mean, I mean, that's not gonna be scary anymore because I know what to do. Okay. I'm sure... I, I don't know. I, I felt like I didn't get it. I, I feel like I, I didn't... Okay, interesting. I, I'm kind of... Yeah, it's kind of weird. I, I don't know what happened. I don't, I don't know what happened there. Oh, well, anyway. Um... I can imagine that being frantic with... Okay, that, that's that's a load screen here. Hold on. Yeah, load screen. Hello, Colin. How are you? I don't know if I can go, I can go back. I Because I just hit the next checkpoint just then. So it's definitely going to tell... Let me see. If I load game... Oh, I don't know when this last checkpoint is, but let's see. Oh, hopefully it's not too far back. No, it's... Oh! Oh, no. Okay, I, was, I didn't really want to do it. I didn't really want to do it. All right, fuck. Okay, whatever. That, that's a good. That'd be a good speed run bug. Okay. Fuck this. All right. So I kind of remember now. Now I actually just feel like I'm like a speed runner. Where 
for sure. Okay, that's where she bugged before. She bugged right there. She got like stuck in a wall or something. Super, super weird. Uh, trust me though. Trust me to find uh, a bug that no one in chat has seen before. Colin, what have you been up to today? Okay, okay. Ooh. I was right there. Fuck, I'm so stupid. Shit. Oh my god. Whoa! My dear, my dear, please. I am, it's been pretty good. Uh, the puzzles have been really fun. Whoa! The puzzles have been super, super solid. Aside from the one bug we just encountered just then. There is a, uh... Okay, hang on. Oh my god, oh my god, why... Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, is this what the SCP games are like, Dorito? Dorito, how you doing? Walking around clueless. Home sweet home. I can't remember what home sweet home was like. Fuck, I hate her. Holy. Some shopping? Or did you buy anything for yourself? Or like, just like, some grocery shit. Boring shopping. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, I like this, uh, this kind of horror design. I've got him in, um, Lethal Company. I think there was one in... Resident Evil. Oh shit, she kicked that door open. Okay, okay. Hey, this is gonna be tough. I, I really should position her like well here. Probably like over here, honestly. Okay, okay. How does this refresh? I'm gonna wait for it to go. She's in a really bad spot. Oh, that was really bad. Fuck, actually right there might be good. Actually right there might be bad. Right there might be bad, fuck. Oh, that door's there though, that door saves me. I hope she doesn't have crazy lunge again. All right, huge. Oh, okay. That shit just doesn't give a fuck. All right. It's like, <laughs> like Lethal Company. All right. Quite a, a little bit disappointing, it bugged, but it is what it is. It is what it is. It was stressful, it was so stressful. Rip Barza, Rip Barza.
All right. What are we doing now? What did I just pick up? Oh shit. Oh my god, a gun? What the yacht? Oh, it's just a flare? Uh, does it actually do anything or just show um show the light? Can I can I shoot this thing with it? That's gonna go. Whoa. Or the other three things I'm thinking about don't glitch. Yeah, no, hopefully not. I don't think they will. I think I just got unlucky with that. Um, I don't have this orange type. Wait, was it here anywhere? <laughs> They're going back. Oh. Press that, dude. There was so much to land on. Oh, Freddy Fazbear's foot. Yeah, stupid, clucky elevator. What was that, Luigi? Nothing, nothing. Let's just get this shipment dropped and go. Hello, my name is Elliot Ludwig. Would you look around? I take it you Sunlight instead of floodlights and painted skies. Hell, we're not even allowed to talk to these kids. Isn't that? <clears throat> <sighs> Sorry, Stu. Sorry? <laughs> that doesn't sound like the rich I know. Well, I'm trying to stop being so pissed off all the time. My wife says I'm a lovely man, but I gotta control my temper. So I'm doing it for her. <laughs> Uh, you're just different, Rich. Honest to a fault. But uh, I always liked that about you. Yeah? <laughs> well, you're one of the few. Uh, you know, Richie, with my retirement coming up, uh, they've been pushing hard for me to choose my replacement. I'm thinking right. about giving the role to you. But, uh, really? Really? Nothing official yet. But I think there's a decent guy beneath all that graph. An honest, hardworking man. You prove me right. I say your chances are pretty good. Wow. I, uh... Jeez, I don't know what to say. I, I'm just... Glad to see not everyone in this place has it out for me. Not everybody, Rich. Not everybody. I freaking love law. All right. Me when I love law. Yon, hello. Oh, they want me to get all the gloves out. That's badass. Oh, it's for this. Oh, shit. Can I like it up? Oh, I can. Huh? Oh shit, it turned off. Why did it turn off? Oh, it ran out of power down the bottom? Oh, okay. Oof. Thought I was about to take full damage. Right. Oh my god, I'm griefing. What? Oh, bro, come on. Don't do that. Don't do me like that. We got time. And this is another one up top, yeah. Alright, here we go. 
part of the chapter what them hands do oh they do all sorts of things man i i got a gun wait where's the gun i don't really know what this flare gun's for though it, it seems like more of a flare gun than anything else all right what have we got here a big big area um okay Holy, that goes so far. Sounds tricky, don't worry, I got this shit. We got this shit, don't even stress. Don't even freaking stress, man. Um, all right, so I'm going to assume. I'm gonna assume for now the gun is gonna face there. Uh, that's gonna go there. No, no stress, no stress, exactly. Alright. That one going over there. Go over there. And there. Mm-hmm. I had to be on that. <laughs> this is uh like Tony Stark when he was inventing the <laughs> he was inventing the new helmet, the new suit. Alright. Beautiful. Freaky. What the hell is this? What the fuck? Okay. Has anyone not seen the end of this DLC? Does anyone not know what uh, what's happening? Okay, I... Fuck, where did I just come from? I, I don't know, like, which which way was I looking? Was it here? Okay, yeah, here. Yeah. What the fuck? What is that thing? Hi, I'm Bobby Bearhug. Wanna know how much I love you? I love you to the moon and back. I'm crazy about you. I'm lost without you. This is the Twitch I've been chat, bear. A long time. Please take me with you this time. You won't leave me. Hi, I'm Bobby Bear. That's kind of freaky. Want to know how much I love you? Motherfucker is freaky, man. Um. <laughs> I'm fucking. That's what I'm saying, dude. How you doing, fucking? Actually, wait, Bucken, have you been here today? Did I just say hi to you twice? I don't think I did, but I hope you're doing well today. Let's get to the fight, man. I think I, I think I realized that. Let the creature hug me? I don't know if I want that. Um, I can't see a tape here. <laughs> I don't know how much I want. Dude. Should I let him hug me? Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cut up is coming. Okay, so I, yeah. His, he got really big. He got a lot bigger than he looked. All right. 
fucking. Uh. Huh? Does that not create a campfire? This is a crazy little room. What the fuck? Okay, there's a few of them. I need to save my ammo. Oh? Okay. Holy shit. Lucky I got aim, bro. Holy shit. At least, at least there's a uh, better sound than there is an apex, so I can tell which direction they're coming from. I'm in like a playhouse. This is about us. Apex has set me up for this very moment. Oh, that one was cute. It was like an elephant. Get the shit out of me, little shit. So this is timed. Oh my fucking god. Gotta figure out the best path here. Oh my god. What the fuck? Oh, he's moonwalking. Oh, he's moving. All right, why are they all here? No, no, no. I think I'm okay. I think I know what I have to do. Are they like done? I'm gonna run out of ammo. I have to move this block, but I need both hands, I think. Oh, fuck, did I fuck this? Are you fucking serious? Unless that's counting right now. I mean, the power's still on, so maybe it counts. <laughs> Come on. Ah! Is it actually cooked now? Holy shit, that looks so close, though. Oh, hold on, look at this. This is physics, man. Physics, ready? Oh my god, freaking physics. Oh, okay. Wait. I'll jump over like that. Are they actually all bugged in there? I, I I bugged them again? There's no fucking way. Critters were about to help me. R wait, really? That would have helped me? Oh, 
I'll summon Tora Jujitsu. <laughs> That's some real shit. Um, the hell is the way up from here? This game's like lack of soundtrack is very eerie. Oh my god, I almost was not in there. Oh, I needed to not be in there. Oh, I have to go down? Oh, that looks so like... So exitable. Empty pool. All right. You, you're Pappy's angel. Dog day. Come to save us. Nothing left to save. Not here. Damn. Bird can't absolutely. eyes are on you now. Watching, waiting, hungry. I think I'm gonna bug them all, Doug. Reminds you of Gojo? I actually just had to pause the game. He reminds you of Gojo? Those who know, oh my fucking god. Oh fuck, this shit is timed, man. Ah! Okay, that was, that was some horse shit, man. What was that? What the hell was that? That was actual bullshit. I took one turn and the guys were spawning from there. Okay, I gotta go straight. Gotta, I'm just gonna go straight the whole time. Dude, I can't believe that I did that to him and, that, uh, and then he turns on me. Where are we at? Oh, did stream die for a second? It should be fine now. Oh my god, I have to go through all that dialogue again? There's no fucking way. There's actually just no chance. Oh, there's s s literally no way. Oh! 
Yo, I think you're the restart, man. Hold on, let me get this. Oh, okay. They got me. Okay, okay. Hold on, uh, refresh, guys. Stream died for a sec. Inverted green? Wait, is it fine now? I don't know what that would have been. Shit, what are they doing, my boy? He looks like Knuckles. Holy fuck. Oh, I gotta crouch? Wait, why did, why did it make me crouch? Oh my god. Oh, did I pick the wrong slide? I think there was like three slides there. Are you fucking serious? I should have looked up. I hit my head. I hit my head on the fucking wall. Oh! Okay, what the fuck? There was like no death uh, text. Okay, uh, this is a really bad respawn. A really bad spot to respawn, but it's all right. Nice. I fucking panicked. Okay, I'm gonna have my, my thing out. All right, all right, get Eden, get Eden. That's badass. Given the craziest head in the in the jail, so Okay. Okay, okay. Oh. Oh, did I? Oh my god, I went the wrong way. Oh, this chair. Oh, what? I didn't even know I could go the wrong way. I had to go left though? Oh, fuck. Okay. Um, alright. I don't know why it respawns you here. This is such a weird respawn. Why, why wouldn't they just spawn you as his, like, getting eaten? You know what I mean? Dude, I hope there's like not more, you know, kind of areas to fuck up. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm sick of hearing this motherfucker die. Okay, I have to go left there, I think. Literally, yeah. I've got, I've got him in a death loop, low key. We're both in our own death loops. So left is the way I gotta go? Oh yeah, damn, that, that really sucks that other way that you can go. Oh my god, my head got caught on something there for a sec. Yeah, I wonder which slide, like, what's the difference between the slides? Should be on the door, right? Yeah, it's a bit of a strange respawn. Okay, let's get my fist out. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, that's not too bad. No, it's po poppy, poppy, yeah. Something says, fetch. Go, go, as far as you can. Why are you just standing there? You can't be here. You can't stay. <laughs> Dog day says, 
Oh, fuck. Should I have gone down here? Am I just going to die again? Um. <laughs> um. That's your favorite part because the guy who haunts the dog was a scientist in the tape who was going to get the raise. The other scientist said, I know you're a good guy and the dog only cares about our safety. The other scientist was right about him. Oh, what? shit. Okay. No ouchies or lost body parts? <sighs> I'm really glad you're okay. I don't want to lose any more friends to this place. Hey, did you see the shrine? Catnap made it for the prototype. Before catnap turned into catnap, I guess there was some pretty serious accident. He almost died, but they say that the prototype saved his life, giving up his own freedom in the process. Mm. In catnap's eyes, the prototype is a superhero and has saved this place. Have we seen what the prototype catnap looks like? Treats him like I just hit Alt F4, hit the Kukura Kukuraka Shaker. <laughs> Off of P3. Surely, surely. Okay, uh, I, is this the last area in the in the game? Let's see. Um, I'm stuck. There were like four more errors? You're such a liar. Getting near the end? Wait, are you fucking serious? There's so much more? Wait, really? I have to not look at it? Do I make eye contact? You hate this actually? Like it's scary? This game has like not been scary at all guys. Why are the mirrors- the, the windows look different in this game, right? In this, in this area. Or have they always looked like this? Am I just like... Psyched out because I mentioned that. Look at the little girl. When?
What the fuck was that? Run? Help? Am I... Yeah, this isn't that bad. I assume I have to go all the way back inside. Damn, I'm not gonna lie, this is like a two stream game. People beat this in an hour? That's kind of fucked. Beating this in an hour would be very impressive. Where am I trying to go? Just across there? People really say, okay, what kind of fucking like glitches did they find? Shit, I, I think I fucked up. I might be wrapping my arm around too much now. Unless I can get it over here. Where's the, uh... Fuck. I think I need to wrap it all the way around, right, to get back. Oh, that shit's blocked. The beta tester. Okay, that, that definitely found, like, some, some insane bugs, though, right? So, I believe here what I have to do is... I've got to get back up there, no? Unless I have to go back here, but I... Oh, unless it actually is just going back there. Hmm. No, but that, that thing required two... Two, like, pylons of voltage. was that thing for? Unless it's like irrelevant. Oh fuck, I thought I could grab that. Unless I do just get to get over it. Maybe, I think I'm overthinking it. I think I just have to get over to that door. Oh, let's try. Unless... Wait, actually, you know what? Unless... No, that wouldn't make sense. No, I definitely have to hit that. Yeah, there's no way that's it. What? I'm such a go back up. I'm going to run out of rope. That 
That is very interesting. Wait, can you climb the ladder normally? Like, is that... Is that like a thing you can do in the game? No. Confused as well. Um, wait, so what's the, the, the world record unbugged? I know Percy Speed runs these games. So like, I'm thinking, like, okay, we have that done. No way I just gotta go back there. Like, is that really it? Oh, wait, really? That was it the whole time? What's that other power block up there for then? For some reason, that didn't feel right. That, that, that didn't feel like the answer, but we'll take it. Probably ran it out. Oh, that's not bad. Do we have a tape anywhere here? A tape that's obvious to find. Oh. Oh, Mr. That wasn't Mr. what I was supposed to do, really? Come on in. Please have a seat. How was your ride down? It was, I felt the super glad. Nothing like we were expecting. Uh, Mr. Ludwig's speech was, well, it just confirms for us that you're the orphanage we want to go through. It's a truly magical place. I felt right at home from the second I entered. You open that door the first time and you just know you're never going to leave. Kind of like finding a home as a child and always thinking of it when you want to feel comforted. <clears throat> I understand you want to give Jeremy that home. Yes. And we would like to adopt. Ah, amazing. Who's Jeremy? will be perfect for... Oh. What? That is a well, freaky looking kid. It Yo, Hyper, thank you for the raid. Guys, please welcome Hyper and the Raiders. How you doing, Hyper? Complications. What are you up to today? What kind of complications? I... I don't know. Um, Guys, give Hyper a follow if you haven't already. Testing. <laughs> What Testing compli complications? Tell us, what does that mean? Miss Graper, we deserve a better explanation than that. Uh, don't you think? You're in charge of all this! How could you not know? And why are we only finding out about this now? I... I don't. I'm sorry. They were testing Jeremy? JC, how you doing, guys? Give Hyper a follow if you haven't already. Oh, uh, South Park, how long is that game, Hyper? Okay. So, we... Fuck, that scared the shit out of me. Like, 10 out. Oh, that's not too bad. Not bad, not bad. Oh, a key? Scream. <laughs> oh, dude. JC, likewise, man. Likewise. So I was gonna put Jeremy in the wrong combat. <laughs> yeah, they, um. I wonder what happened to him, though. Screams are actually pretty good. Wanda, how have you been? What's up, man? Oh, the dialogue's better in Spanish, but really? That'd be sick. They were 
eyes? Wait, really? I didn't fucking see. You actually saw eyes? I've been good. I've been good. We're trying out Poppy Playtime right now. We've uh, been playing Persona 3 as well. We started that yesterday and the Walking Dead Telltale. So we've been doing a lot. Doing a lot. When are we playing Power World? I don't know if I'm going to play Power World. What have you been playing, Wonder? Do I down below? Wait, really? I didn't fucking see, man. I'm scared now. Black Ops 3 Zombies? That is fucking nostalgic. That is nostalgic as fuck. FNAF FPS? What's up, Stray? How far did you get through in uh, Persona yesterday, Stray? Oofed. This is actually FPS FNAF, though. It's fucking... It's great. Thank you. Thank you for the like. I appreciate that, Messi. Thank you. Hmm... You finished off the BJ boss? Uh, there's a blowjob boss? Wait, what? My brother, what? Made it pretty easy? That'd be a, like one of the fastest bosses ever, bro. Oh, hello. Guys, is it just me or can you not see fucking shit? You would lose a hundred times on purpose to the BJ. <laughs> JC, oh fuck, I, I meant JC, I meant JC, my bad. Sure, I'll use the flame, probably, yeah. This game is too easy. You cannot lie. You're the best. Perso Persona or this game I'm playing right now? This game I would believe too. Slither, hello, Hawaii. What's up? I was work today. Oh, here we go. There we go. Beautiful. All right, let's power this. Oh my god, I just shut the fucking door. Bar. Come on. This game is so much fun! Yay! Holy. That time is crazy. I'm freaking excited. Thank God I'm out of this fucking gas mask, bro. Can I grab this battery? Oh shit, almost died just then. Let's go outside in game. Oh, don't worry. There was no chance I was going outside out of game. Okay, I'm back here. So. So what's the objective of poopy playtime? Do you catch people in the toilets? That's... Pretty much it so far, man. But the objective is we're trying to free the animatronics. I know it might sound like FNAF, but it's actually so much better. Dude, I don't know what the fuck I have to do right now, though. This door just opened, and then what? Like, oh my fucking god. This door opened, okay? Oh, no way. It was actually this way? Oh, I'm creeping. I went the wrong way. Alright, we got a little puzzle, guys. Let's see. 
little puzzle poo. There's a whole bunch of puzzles in this game, so you can imagine how good I am. Why is it not letting me move this one? Oh, it's because the, the power's going through it? How? Where was you? Today's a huge, massive, massive. Let's get to here. Oh, this section's hard. Don't worry. We already know. I'm goaded. We're chilling. No worries. As of, we'll see you later. Thank you for hanging out. You guys have seen how I've dealt with all the puzzles. This shit I fear is too easy for me. Okay, so. We've just done that. We've got the beams going around. What is this thing? A heavy power block. Do I have to break this? I assume maybe I have to break it. Or maybe... What? Can I crush it under here? Or something? No, that would be such a weird like solution. I just gotta drop it somewhere. All right, so we have one power. We're going to put it in here. Now this one. Uh, the only way I would see about breaking this um, would be by, I think, changing this back to this. That power's the lift, right? Yeah, okay. So we're gonna get the lifts. <laughs> that is some wild PTSD. Oh. Oh. Alright. Did I just get the battery on the ground? What do you mean? I'm gonna have to do this. Well, oh, no, it's fine. Okay, cool. Better on the ground, breaking with gravity? That's that's what I did. That's what we did. We're chilling. Alright. Oh, oh, no, you're good, you're good. Okay. Um, why is that not opening? Oh, now I need to deliver power to that node there. Um, am I doing this the other way now? No, that one has to be moved. I mean, yeah, the jump pad needs to be powered, but... Hold on. Unless... Do we have any power poles anywhere? No, I definitely need a... Can I grab it from here? Oh my god, I can. What the fuck? When the game wants you to reach somewhere, like, it gives you so much reach. I feel like I don't normally get that reach anywhere else. Okay. What the fuck is that? Why are they playing jazz?
Why are they playing jazz? Uh, Owen, thank you for the follow. Welcome, Owen. Hope you're doing well. Whoa, where am I? Where am I right now? What's happening? Up. Hmm. Danny, hypers. thank you for the resub. Guys, for sure, Danny, some love. Thank you, Danny. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. We're just playing ploppy, ploppy, ploppy playtime right now. Oh, I don't know where the fuck. Slither! Oh my god, Slither. You don't have to. Slither, you already gifted 20 yesterday. Guys, please show Slither some love. They have been gifting so many fucking subs, man. Completely unnecessary. But I really, really appreciate that, Slither. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What the fuck? Oh, now I'm gonna get fucking jump scared here somewhere. There's no way I don't. There's no way I don't. And thank you for the starting, starting a hype train. Thank you, Silver. Thank you, thank you. Too, too kind, too kind. Um, but I hope you guys are doing well. Ah! I called it. I did get jump scared. I did get fucking jump scared. Holy shit. Oh my fucking god. I didn't see him. What the hell? I didn't even see him. Where was he? Where the fuck was he? Oh, shit. What? Scripted? No. Am I even doing anything right now? Yo, what's up, Mish? How are you? Do you know what's happened here? Emoto, shut the shut up, man. Like, no one is a blot. No one is like obligated to to gift, but I do appreciate when people do gift. Are these like the souls? Are these like little kids' souls in the fucking animatronics or some shit? I don't know, I got no idea. Oh, they were? Do you see why we have to end this? Why is Poppy not in an animatronic? Oh. Oh, they're not? They're actually just fairies? This looks like an intestine? I feel like I'm in a blood vessel right now. Oh, they're just plushies? Do you even know what's real? I'm not real. Yeah, you might have. Once, we, once we're done with this game, though, we're going to play some Persona. They're inside? No, they're not inside, are they? Or just their souls? Oh, is this like kids versus scientists? No worries, Mish. Magic school bus moment? They do that in the magic school bus? Guy hernia. Oh, that's the prototype. I'm fucking happy to leave, honestly. I'm more than happy to leave. I think I saw some episodes. Huggy Wuggy in the Magic School. I, I think I did see some episodes, but... I do not have the best memory. Oh, okay. They removed the battery from my hand. 
Toffee Playtime takes ten years takes place ten years after the Playtime Co. Toy Factory was shut down due to its entire staff mysteriously disappearing inside. Founded by Elliot Ludwig, Playtime Co.'s goal in Poppy Playtime was to create the most lifelike toys ever sold, based on the law. Interesting, interesting. I think I definitely missed some law. But you guys have done a pretty good job of explaining it, so that's chill. Something's gone wrong. Grab the cord from the counselor's office and plug it in underneath the statue. We need to reach 100%. I'm going to become a Poppy Playtime YouTuber. Something was found interesting. I've missed like a few tapes for sure though. I think I've missed like three tapes. Ox long chan, that was so funny, bro. Okay. Oh, that's it. Oh no, we need the playhouse. Fuck my life. All right, let's go to the playhouse. Give me the playhouse key. Where I hidden, I should actually, yeah. Fucking just make so much shit up. Ollie? No key? Or is it open? Wait, my game bug or no? Where do I go? Oh, a note. The pit in me howls for food. I can't think about anything other than how hungry I am. Hardly have I the strength. Hardly I have the strength now to pick myself up off the floor. Bob speaks to me, though. She gives me strength. I've found that if I stand still, completely still, everyone thinks I'm dead. Bob says I need to eat. And that with the other teachers... And that the other teachers... Would never see me coming. Anything to stop the howling. Find a plug. Oh, there's another plug here. I mean, I already plugged in the plug from... Oh, you mean the playhouse is already, like, powered? Oh, the elevator? Let me check if the play. Yeah, let me check if the playhouse is a plug. That's a good point. I don't think I, I don't think the plug would be ready yet though because I haven't done anything here yet. It's way too dark. Check the elevator. What the fuck? This had a plug? Wait. Should I have even known that? Wait, there was a plug here? Should I... Wait. Should I have done this earlier? I didn't know I was going to find a plug there. I thought I thought I was going to find Poppy and talk to them. We're missing all the voice lines? Okay. Do you reckon we are miss- I, I actually want to check now. Do you reckon- Let's just quickly check without spoiling. Let's see, uh... Let's try not get too far through. Let's see Jacksepticeye. Oh fuck, I've apparently watched this. What the fuck? I felt good. Okay. I get too far. If Ollie's like playhouse, okay, now it makes playhouse. It's the only one that doesn't have any. A slot, you're right. Which one is it? There. Do I still have to do the playhouse? There's probably a YouTube auto play, yeah. Because I, I watched oh. a review. I got a flower key. And I just wanted to like get a gist of what the game kind of looked like. To see whether I was going to play it yesterday. Mm -hmm. 
that one. Oh, do you know what? Wait, he got a key? Still so every single time house? I've plugged the power in, right? I go straight to the key thing and I just click it. So I probably grabbed the key and I didn't even realize I grabbed it. I didn't realize. And then that's the key for that plug, right? Yeah, every single time I, um... Every single time I've plugged, uh, I've gone to plug shit in, I just quickly grab. And I actually did have the key when I, when I scrolled through here, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna be real. I wasn't fucking listening, Ollie. My bad. That time, that's on me. Breathe in a let's fight. No, no, I just wanted to see if, um... If we had a sound bug, because we've had... How many? I think we've only had two bugs. Okay, I need to actually see where to go. I'm using the let's play now. I don't, actually, I, I didn't seen Jack in a while either. Or by the cable car, you cable car, okay. All right, yeah, yeah, whatever. We're using the let's play. Two bugs, yeah, yeah. Cheetah? Okay, fuck you. Wait, what the fuck? We get it. We still have to get the gas all the way over. This is all just to get the gas over. That's it. No, that's fair. That's fair. I completely forgot we were doing the gas. So I'm assuming in the next chapter we get the gas over because, like, right now, like, I mean, we've still got like two whole things to move the gas into. Is it this one? <gasps> Fuck! What the fuck do I do? I fear there was like a lack of explanation there. What the fuck just happens? Where are you gonna respawn me? Oh, you're such a fucking rat. This game has the worst fucking respawns. Holy dog shit respawns. That's like really, really annoying. One of the most, un like... Okay, I gotta go to the elevator. One, one of the most annoying like things about horror games is when they do this. When they have respawns that just take so long. Only streamers have beat this game in 15 minutes. Do you know what? I had a bug where a scary lady didn't chase me and I went back and redid it. I de redid the part so then it would be unbugged. So that like, you know, I could never hit 15 minutes when I'm redoing parts that get bugged. Because 15 minutes would need bugs. I have too much integrity. I pray this part gets bugged though. If this part gets bugged, I'm celebrating. Sorry, where am I going? Where the fuck is the elevator? Did I, I like can't see shit. Three hours. Okay, it's meant to take three. Oh yeah, yeah. It's meant to take like three hours, dudes. I just hit the button. Oh shit. Guys, I'm gonna be real. If this is like near the end, okay, look, okay, there we go. That's a that's a checkpoint. I was gonna say if there was no checkpoint. Wait, should I be choking in here? I think I should be choking in here. A nap is coming. Be ready. Now this part though. Okay, is this like FNAF? I'm quitting the game right now if this is like FNAF. Actually not joking.
Right, I took my gas mask. Oh, both hands. I saw that, right? Like, if it was... Like, that was a two-handed thing, but for some reason... Are you fucking serious? I grief myself. I don't think I should be out here. I think you're right. Okay, so... I can only grab this with one hand for some reason. Yeah, same is gonna be to block him off. Um, how do I open this? So I gotta manage my hmm. Let me see. I'll see what how I get the floor. So that's for the end, I, I assume. Oh, they want me to get that one. Then I'll be able to, like, stop putting them all together, I think. Um... Okay, so everything's on though, so we can't come through there. Is he gonna be like pulling the batteries out? Oh yeah, I gotta. Fuck it, let me see. Do I not have like enough batteries? Okay, hold on, I see. Do I? Send new battery. Okay. I get it. Oh, thank you. Oh, okay. Blue dragon, blue balls to give the fire. Okay, I get it. I get it. Um, I'm gonna hate this. I swear I saw him on the other side. Okay. So. Progressively, it's going to get harder because I'm going to have less batteries, which means less things covering me. Okay. And I have to put all the batteries in again. Okay. Uh, what's this battery here for, though? That will eventually open once that's all together, I presume. Not him? What's the most sure way of knowing which one is which then?
I mean, I can't change my blue hand, can I? This is... I, I, I don't like this. See? Like, okay. Like, okay, okay. What does that fucking mean, guys? I don't... Oh, okay, so how do I block that one off? Well, I don't fucking I don't fucking get that. How do I block that one off? Is that the one with the purple hand on top? The purple hand blocks both entrances on the left. The wall thing on the gate. How do I use this? Wait, what? Pull the gate from the side? Oh, there's a gate I can pull somewhere? Oh, shit, here? Oh, fucking sh Okay, okay, I see, I see, I see, I griefed. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Dude, my shit is like dark. I think that's my issue. Yeah, so I didn't say that. Okay, okay, huge, huge. Thank you, thank you. Oh, okay. Oh, but then... Okay, wait, wait. All right. All right, so I eventually just have to figure out which one to, like, have lost, I guess. Um, Having a spare battery is good then now. Yeah. So, when he when he comes around here, like I'm, I'm hitting the gas, right? Like this is the gas. Yeah, bro. All right. Um. Okay. How long does that last for? Is that him there? No. I'm just hitting everything, dudes. Okay. Oh fuck, he's right there. Okay, I can't take that battery. Wait, is he gonna come back there though? If 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 it was just there? Okay. Oh, I'm so fucking angry. Uh, 
Um... Fucking die here, dudes. Where's the do I have another battery? I like don't have another battery, like oh fuck, I have this one. Okay, this should be done. Four seconds. One. Can I hit him with this now or something? Oh shit. Oh fuck, all right. Bam. All right, that was, that was good. Was that like missing sound there? That was stressful, that was so stressful. He didn't even try it then, right? Was I like confusing him by moving around a lot? Oh, fuck. Damn. Crystal? Hello, how are you doing? Uh, Jolie, I hope you're doing well as well. Didn't say hi to you, my bad. Um, okay, right, damn, I lost my hand though. Oh, no, wait. Can I get through there now? Dude, that was so stressful. That was super, super stressful. Um, maybe I can put them all in now? Oh no, it's, it's already all like powered. All right. I thought I was gonna hate that a lot more because uh, I don't normally like that kind of FNAF style. Um, leave them right. Oh, did I go the wrong way? I, I don't like that kind of FNAF style, but that was that was well done. It wasn't like too hard either. I think I got lucky. I think I got very lucky. I, I normally struggle so bad on those. Alright. So, can I plug this in now? We're gonna get this. Oh. Yeah, I think I got, I got super lucky. Is it all on the left now? Huh? Did I just restart it again? Ollie? Did I go like mad couple tunnel from that though? I guess I'll leave. I, I don't think I have to power everything else because like I've I've already done that. So, um, where on this? Right. Agnab's gone. The red smoke is diverted. Everything is falling into place thanks to you. But if we're to keep going, then then you deserve to have the truth. You came back because of your co-workers. We want to know what happened and why. 
this. This is your answer. Oh, uh. Called it Tower of Joy. Law. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, that would be so fucking scary. breaking free i had to man i was sick of standing there holy shit they look like minions why, why are they why do they look like that i am that tall christmas you're right I mean, I guess we could have assumed something like that had happened there, right? I remember hearing every moment of it. It went on so long. So agonizingly long. They might have eaten the bodies. What are those things? <laughs> Senseless slaughter. That's all it really was. They killed everyone. The guilty, the innocent. It didn't matter. All of that death didn't fix anything. And then, once it was all over, they dragged those corpses down below where they'd never be found. And they... Ate the bodies to stay alive. How Wait. the type has to die for this, for everything. Why does this one not eat? Imagine I just fucking died. Soon as we reach the bottom, we'll send the lift back up. Just hold tight, okay? After you. Oh, she played dead. Interesting. Was that, is the law there like, because when I look at her, she stands still to play dead type thing? That's kind of cool. I don't know if that's true, but like, she got in the habit of when people are looking at her, she stands still. We need to be cautious. There's something. Something? What's she doing? This is what? No, no. Oh my God, no, they totally just fucked Kissy. Oh my god, what did they do to oh, kiss you? Oh no, that's fucked up. I got my yacht out, don't worry. No. That's troll. Oh my god, I'm actually kind of sad about that. Rip Bozo. Dude. Isaac Christopherson. What a fucking... Gangster name. Dude. That's kind of sad, man. That was actually kind of sad. What's my rating? I liked it. It honestly wasn't that scary. When people were saying it was going to be a lot more scary. But I think because the scariest part for me would have been the freezing lady. But um, that part of the game bugged on me. Yeah, tell me about Kissy. Tell me about Kissy. Um, the lore was pretty good. I, I'm actually interested in the lore, so I think the story was really good. The puzzles were really good. They gave a, yeah, the puzzles were really, really good once you figured out, like, that first one that kind of stumped me a little bit, but then, like, the rest got pretty, pretty chill. You missed the ending, do it again? Dude, they got kissy. 
we were going down an elevator and Kissy stayed up. And then we heard like shrieks come from Kissy. Yeah, the law was good. The law was good in terms of like, I mean, the game's like 10, 10 bucks, right? Like it was really cheap. Retrix, hope you're doing well. Um, Kissy was a mother of who lost her kid. Oh, that's fucking sad. Oh, shit. People say, uh, scary. It's, they're comparing it to FNAF. I mean, FNAF for me is pretty fucking scary. Oh, shit. So Kissy's... We should watch, like, a little video. But Kissy's, uh, Kissy was, like, the soul of, like, a mother. How far? We got two and a half hours in. So we got to the first, like, area where you can, uh, like, start fighting. And then, like, you jump out. I'd say, though, in terms of... Because it is a $10 game. So it's not that bad. But the game apparently, like, was not running that well for some people. But also, um... The, the the checkpoints were really bad. The checkpoints were fucking terrible. Sometimes I felt like the audio bugged and I couldn't hear shit. We had that really big bug in the middle. And the load um, areas were really strange. But aside from that, it was really good. That was actually very, very good. Yeah, maybe I watch a lore video. It's funny because one of the main people involved in Poppy Playtime teased this for months and one of the last teasers was Morning Kissy. Oh, really? No, it was really good. Like, I, I liked it a lot. I did actually like it a lot. That was really good. Watch MadPat? Wait, did, did he make a video on it? Yeah, I mean, for 10 bucks as well? Yeah, let's watch a lore video. I'm actually down for that. Yeah, we don't know what happened with Ollie either. No, that was super solid. That was really, really good. Yeah, good game for the price. 100%. The game looked amazing as well. The game looks really, really good. Just like a few a few weird bugs, but... The map pack re No, I don't think I did. What was the map pack reference? Dark, hope you're doing good. How are you? Not as emotional. How much was it? Yeah, 14 bucks. Like, 10 bucks, man. That's so good, dude. That's so good. That, no, that part on its own was 10 bucks. Then the other parts are probably 10 bucks as well. I like chapter two a lot. I think chapter two... Oh, chapter one was actually kind of fucking scary, but it was like short. They were all really good. No, I, I definitely like these games a lot. Um, Let's see. There was a picture that said clap and a heart. Oh, we'll miss you. Oh, that's a map pap reference. I saw that. I, I did actually see that chapter. Um... Yeah, 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 okay. Should we just look at the chapter 3 story or all of it? 35 minutes? Holy shit. Oh, this even has a chap chapter 3 story? It's been two years since Poppy Playtime Chapter 1 released and took the internet by storm. It was everywhere. And so understandably, Chapter 2 was immediately put into production. Seven months later, there it was. Again, it was a huge success, so naturally Chapter 3's development was underway. And so we waited and waited and waited. 18 months have gone by and still we're waiting. That doesn't mean Mob Games has left us completely empty-handed. They've been giving us little tidbits of lore in all kinds of strange places. But with all these little breadcrumbs of lore being dropped over such a long period, it can be hard to keep track of what we do and don't officially know. That is, I think I've today. seen like today I'm giving you toys one of the uh, of Huggy the Wuggy. Poppy Playtime Timeline. The Poppy Play Timeline. Poppy Play Timeline. Poppy Play Timeline. It feels like it doesn't work, but it works technically. Just saying. All right, let's sauce. Subscribe button. Well, with a single line of lore hidden in each one, but still, it's a lot to have to keep track of. Outside of the two main chapter releases, we've had a spin-off title with three They remind me of, um, tapes, Gumbar. Three found footage Gumby? YouTube videos, two ARGs with dozens of tiny scraps of lore, and a partridge in a pear tree. They even hid lore in their anniversary videos. Like, who does that? Who does that? But while their methods might seem unorthodox, it does mean that there's a lot of lore and a lot of dates getting thrown around. Poppy's huge in Japan, really? Of, especially when all the story they've been seeding out happens decades 
before the actual games themselves. So today we're gonna oh, be wiping the slate from this? clean and starting over. We're gonna be putting all the evidence what together, the all the Moon? theories we've had to create one cohesive timeline. So when Chapter Three does release next month, we know exactly where we stand and what to expect. Strap on those grab oh, packs. Oh, It's time oh. to lower ourselves into the depths of this haunted toy empire's history. Hold the story begins time. not with any of the games, right, don't but fly. rather with Playtime Co.'s website. On this now deleted web page, we learn about the company's founder, Elliot Ludwig. He founded Playtime Co. in 1930 as a way to quote bring joy to children. He gave you reckon all these the prototype, company, but sadly that work ethic would just wind up Why, pushing dude, his wife into divorce. Maybe. Regardless, Elliot continued onward, determined to bring Playtime Co. to new heights. And according to the controversial NFT collection, in 1950 the company created the toy that would put them on the map. In the most incredible doll video on YouTube announcing the game, we find our titular toy, Poppy Playtime. Elliot had outdone himself. Poppy wasn't just a lifeless doll; she could talk to you. She could even respond to questions, making her an instant hit with children everywhere. She was also an instant hit with the parents, because her hair smelled just like her namesake of poppies. A flower that doesn't actually have much of a scent, but does contain opium, which was used throughout oh. history in children's medication to Damn. relieve pain and help sleep. So you had this new toy that every child wanted, and then parents would suddenly find that their kids were much calmer and sleepier. These toys started to fly off the shelves, and the company became is a Is it 1.25 speed, or is... Oh my god, he just has he just has guarded It's been two years guarded pacing. One. It's not quite FNAF levels of let's release twins them boy and in nineteen fifty the hit one was at a different this new toy that every child wants throughout history and children's medication to relieve pain and help sleep. So you had this new toy that every child wanted, and then parents would suddenly find that their kids were much calmer Mr. and sleepier. These toys yeah, he's fast. To fly I respect off the that. shelves, and the company became a household name. That said, not all poppies were created equally. All the regular poppy dolls oh, were interesting incredible yellow. feats of engineering, but one was at a different level. What if what if what if Ollie was like I don't know, can control the prototype and he was dropping the keys. Some shit like that. Or is he uh, the witch from Wizard of Oz saying poppies over and over again? I I think I watched the Wizard of Oz ages ago, but I can't remember it. Her conversational skills were like having a conversation with an actual person. Sorry. Let me see what I'm doing for dinner, by the way. That wasn't a coincidence, because she was an actual person. Hidden in the game files is an unused ending monologue for Chapter 2, where Poppy reveals a lot more about her backstory, specifically this line right here. Terrible things have happened, and I am the cause. Being able to exist as a doll, it has killed so many people. And when you combine that with the maintenance VHS where we saw blood dripping off her voice box and those weirdly human looking eyes of hers, it reveals that this Poppy was in fact a real person. Emphasis oh. on was. Something happened to her, and I think we have a pretty good idea of what. It all comes back around to Elliot in the next decade of the timeline, the 1960s. In the 1960s, an unfortunate family death had pushed Ludwig down to his lowest. This family loss started it all, and I believe that this was the person who became Poppy, the first of what would be many others. But Elliot didn't have any family that we know of. His wife divorced him three decades ago. And any children- Elliot without the T spelled differently as Ollie. Whoa, that's like reading into it mega. That he'd have had with her would be in their 30s at this point. That's why the prevailing theory is that Elliot had a young adopted daughter. He wanted to bring joy to children, to the point that he would encourage his employees to also adopt, even going so far as to build an orphanage on factory grounds. That is why it is with enormous pleasure that I announce Play camp, our very own on-site orphanage. Adoption and loving children was clearly on his mind, so the idea of him adopting a young orphan feels like a natural first step. And given that she was the only family that he had, her dying would be even more devastating to him. So he didn't let her die. Elliot took his dying mm. daughter and preserved her inside a Poppy Playtime doll. In the most recent air team, we started receiving documents that discuss using organic parts. Which Wait, is this theory? Eyes Game so theory, or is this real? Blood covering her voice box. Those were her real eyes. That was her real blood used in a last ditch effort to save the daughter and shockingly it worked poppy came to life his beloved daughter returned to him he locked her away in a room of the factory that was designed to remind them of their family home far away from everyone else preserved in a glass box where he could visit her and keep her safe from anything else that might happen over the next couple of decades, the company hires more staff, like Leith Pierre as the head of innovation. They also release all sorts of popular toys, like Braum the Dinosaur, Boxy Boo, Candy Cat, and of course, the company's next massive hit, the blue boy himself, Huggy Wuggy, followed quickly by Kissy Missy, because every Ken needs a Barbie. Barbie has a great day if- I'm so sad about Kissy Missy. Ken only has a great day if Barbie looks at him. Despite that popularity, the company struggles to remain afloat. When I look at this company we've built, I do not feel proud. Declining profits, failed experiments, people are constantly seeing things they shouldn't. 
How is that anything less than complete failure on our part? It's pathetic. Those, dear theorists, are the words of Harley Sawyer. I'm called the doctor. And he isn't just bringing up problems, he's also the man with the solution. I'm here now with a solution. I mean, I think Matt Pat in his all this stuff as well, because I used to watch him years ago, but I think he always presents stuff as like, like it's a whole theory, like, like he, like the way he phrases it, yeah, it sounds like he's saying it's facts, but it's like a theory, like he's just explaining the whole theory in that like, this is what it would be. Bigger bodies initiative giant toys we can increase our workforce and simultaneously decrease the number of lawsuits and people on our payroll if the people we have working aren't people and the idea is all thanks to the one living toy that told us she started it all poppy this leads us to the early 90s when the doctor's plan is in full swing it's here where we join him trying to recreate the magic that is poppy studying her in her little safe glass case and trying desperately to figure out how elliot's daughter was able to continue living inside the doll there are hundreds of experiments one of which we see a report of on elliot's desk in chapter 2 experiment 814 based on the handwriting of this and several other notes this appears to be a report written by the doctor himself Himself. And by this point, it's pretty darn clear what element of Poppy he's yeah, focused real, on. Christmas. Quote, the experiment utilized a live rat. Rat was fed three portions daily for two weeks. At the end of the two weeks, the rat was killed and submerged into a Poppy flower preservative gel mixture. One week later, an electric shock was applied to the rat in an attempt to revive it. The rat... Tell me to ban you, response. right? The doctor suspects that Poppy flowers and living parts are the two key factors to creating more living toys, but his experiments still wind up in failure. That said, the doctor seems to have an idea as to why. Quote again, I still believe believe in the potential of the poppy flower. Perhaps something larger than a rat would yield different results. And in chapter two, Mommy Longlegs reveals exactly what he meant by that. It was always so sad to see the kids grow. Mommy Longlegs. Fear, have a good night, man. Because Thanks for hanging. Thank you for the lurking. I appreciate it. Welcome back to it, by the way. We're watching law What's videos. The difference between experiment eight fourteen of Poppy Playtime. Poppy, Poppy wasn't a rat. She was a human, a child, an orphan. Orphans have And no while we do that, I'm also looking There's to order no food. Persons report no investigations because who would miss them? It was the perfect crime, Maybe. the perfect answer to the doctor's this room. experiment. To facilitate this, the company creates Playcare, Playtime's own on-site orphanage, as well as the Game Station, a facility designed to test and improve the skills of the orphan children. In chapter two, we see reports get. that show us the improvement of one specific child's skills, and in those reports. We we're see looking, man. We're looking. A toy, a toy and then we're going to do a bit of persona after it's this. It's at this point that the Bigger Bodies Initiative has a breakthrough. Using pieces of organic parts and machinery, they're able to create a prototype of what they wish to create. Experiment 1006. The prototype oh, that's... seems to possess an unprecedented level of intelligence beyond that of all other test subjects as well as an alarming willingness to commit violence. The tape goes on to describe Huggy Wuggy, Experiment 1170 what if I... as fully obedient. Which... What if I ate just... 10 pieces of Korean fried chicken. Persona in our GTA. Persona has to be played. We have to play two hours of Persona every day. Lore, what's up, Milo? Do I actually just do that? 10 pieces, is that a lot? 10 pieces is a lot. That's deep, Yeller. That's deep. That's a lot of text. That's a lot of text. Save one. Ten pieces of fries? My mindset is that fries are like much worse for you than uh than the chicken. Know what I'm saying? What the fuck? Da -na 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 -na. Pull off two wings Organic and out. Dude. Machinery, they're able to create a prototype I read all that? Yeah, I didn't really retain any of it. I read it and there was too many names. Seems to possess an unprecedented level of Flaming Mayo? Beyond that of all other test subjects, as well as an alarming willingness to commit violence. The tape goes on to no, I think there'd be like Wings Act. Bigger bodies right. initiative has
we see reports that show us the improvement of one specific child's skills. And in those reports, we see that they've been assigned. Well, I won't burn this man. Fuck that. that. They'll soon become. It's at this point that the Bigger Bodies Initiative has a breakthrough. Using pieces of organic parts and machinery, they're able to create a prototype of what they wish to create. Experiment 1006. The prototype seems to possess an unprecedented level of intelligence beyond that of all other test subjects as well as an alarming willingness to commit violence. The tape goes on to describe Huggy Wuggy, Experiment 1170, as fully obedient, which led me to believe that there was something different about 1006. For him to be more intelligent means that he must have stronger cognitive function than the orphans. Children are easier to control. You can tell him what to do because you're an adult, an authority figure. But what if 1006 was a fellow adult? That might make it harder to control, especially mm. if there's someone with supreme intellect and creative building skills. The prototype seemingly disassembled the digital alarm clock within his room and utilized the battery along with several other components to create a laser pointer which he then fired into the security camera disabling it Who's an adult in this franchise that we know has the genius and creativity to make some of the most beloved toys in the world? None other than Elliot Ludwig himself. Now, initially, I theorized that he became 1006 because he was an adult who loved and cared for orphans. And so when he discovered that the doctor was using him for his experiments, he went to shut the whole thing down, only for the doctor to silence him. That's why 1006 is so aggressive towards the scientists in the tapes, and why he'd later lead the charge in an uprising against Playtime Co. that he would call the Hour of Joy, reminiscent of what he always oh, wanted to achieve. Bringing joy we live to children. that. Though still missing, today's events are no doubt in relation to him. But here's the problem. Since that theory, there's been a few pieces of evidence that tell us that Elliot was fully aware of the experiments happening on the orphans. There's an email that appeared in the most recent ARG written by Elliot that says, quote, one of those dang huggy wuggy. Sorry, what did you send me for off? It has What is this? It's a pickle? Oh, you know what? This would bang. Actually, this would be really good. That would be really, really good. Yeah, that's real. That's like FBI, what the Earth looks like. a child had to have been converted into a version of Huggy. This email would also disprove Elliot as being 1006. Because what if I just get a kebab? Experiment 1170. And if these people have any respect for the scientific Japanese? process, right. 1170 should come after 1006. That said, that email has actually been redacted by Mob Games. It's no longer available in the ARG. The main reason? I suspect it's the date. It's labeled June 23rd, 1981. You see, Huggy Wuggy the toy what? wasn't even created until 1984 three years after that date. In his description in Project Playtime, it specifically calls out that he's, quote, a living giant version of the famous Playtime Co. toy. So Giant Huggy couldn't exist in 1981 if the toy he's based on didn't exist in 1981. Looks like the timeline's getting tricky to keep track of, even for the creators of the timeline. But while the evidence may not have panned out, I still think we can say that Elliot was fully aware of what was going on. We hear Elliot Ludwig opening the playcare in the teaser for Chapter 3. We owe everything to these children. This company and its toys Some devil are nothing show. without them. That is why it is My understanding anything player. you're saying? The founder of Playtime Co. I announce Playcare. Our very own on site. I am, but don't Did you test hear that? me. We owe everything to these children. That to me sounds like someone who knows exactly what's about to happen to these kids. It's classic hiding the truth in plain sight kind of language. That being said, I wouldn't be so fast to say that my theory of Elliot being the prototype is totally debunked yet either. Well, this shows that he was fully aware of the experiments and therefore wouldn't have been angry with the doctor and what he was doing. It also doesn't stop him from being turned into the prototype. Consider this we don't know how old Elliot is at any given point in the story. The best we have to go off of is that he was married at some point in the 1920s and divorced in 1930. The average age of a man getting married in the 1920s was around 25. So let's say that he'd been married a few years before divorcing and was now around 28 in 1930. That would mean that by 1990... Do we get boneless thighs or boneless tenders? Tenders, yeah? I feel that lich. Tenders, yeah? Yo, what's up, Lime? How you doing? We're looking at, uh, lore from my favorite freaking game, man. Okay, and then, um... Do we get sweet chili ones as well? Oh. They want crushed peanuts on that shit? No sesame seeds? What the fuck? I kind of, I kind of fuck with sesame seeds, though. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. 
If you spend $35, you get 25% off. I do that, right? She do cocaine in my basement. Bro, I need... What the fuck? What the fucking fuck? Five bites from Wingstar? I don't know if I have. All right, what the hell is this? I'm get I'm getting skamazed. Oh yeah, real. Okay, okay, this is so real. This is the realest shit ever. Okay, hold on, wait. Let me let me back out. The Elliot would be around. Holy fuck! It's just gonna get here in an hour. That's actually fun. So I'm not that if, angry. Rather than being got rid of and forced into the experiment, he was a willing participant in that experiment. We see in the VHS. Sorry, video, guys. If he was a willing experiment participant, okay then what? Adults, and specifically adults who are close to death. In Project Playtime's Phase Two update, we hear the doctor say this: "Mortality is the curse of the weak." Which lines up pretty well with the Chapter Two death screen. May we forget death? Being in his late 80s, Elliot may have seen the writing on the wall, and while the play care was. Still being set up, he decided to offer himself to the experiment to prove the concept, to help him live forever, and to continue seeing Playtime Co. thrive. But something happens that neither him nor the doctor expected. You see, there's an adult that's turned into brawn, known as Experiment 1199, and a key factor is that he isn't able to remember who he is or what happened to him. Whereas the other converted toys, the ones why did he forget who he was, guys? To remember at least something of who they were. They recognize that this character isn't a tortured child like them, and so they attack him. But if that's exactly what happened to 1006. An adult brain might just be unable to truly keep all its memories. Elliot doesn't remember exactly who he is. He's essentially back to his base mindset and instincts. And using his intellect, he's able to put together the pieces, seeing the pain of all the children as they were converted, leading him to lash out and become the evil mastermind that we know today. Despite all the violence and murder, the prototype is essentially a guys, success. Guys, have you guys ever seen food that says it's going to get here in 80 minutes on DoorDash? Worked. And so they pressed on with the Bigger Bodies initiative. 80 minutes for the food to get here in? Coming in the form of an old toy from 1966, Boxy Boo. They said it was impossible, yet you defied all odds. The first of many, naturally. You have proven my bigger bodies initiative a success. And just in time, too. The doctor always wanted these bigger bodies to fulfill jobs around the factory. And there was my no, no, it's fine, because it's going to come cold, and then I said the food came cold. We need to start tailoring that appetite. Someone whose order was going to be 85 minutes because the dude was walking? I saw that as well, actually. That's so yeah, fucking no. funny. Um, so, is anyone following? You are? You can get it refunded? If it's very cold. If it's, like, extremely... No, no, not okay. Normally, cold food I won't refund, but if it's um, if they're missing stuff, I'll say my sh like shit was missing. McDonald's, what I do if McDonald's if I'm missing sauce, like if they don't give me sweet and sour sauce and I got nuggets, I will tell them I did not enjoy the meal at all. Like I I can't have nuggets without sweet and sour sauce, so I couldn't fucking eat it. So I scan McDonald's like that. If it's like a smaller business, I normally won't, but. And just in time, too. The doctor always wanted these bigger bodies to fulfill jobs around the factory. And there was a very specific job that he needed resolved and fast. Now, what job? Start tailoring that appetite of yours to flourish. Oh, when shit. To start. Get me an update on situation. Why was he... Rowan Stoll was the IT guy for Playtime Co. And for a long time, that's all he was. In 1988, he fixed the puzzle pillars, those minigame towers that you find in Project Playtime. And in 1990, he fixed the phone service provider. Nothing major. Oh, yeah, you get a hair in the food refund. I noticed something in early 1991. Look, I know you don't want to hear any more about this. I get it. Sounds like a bad joke, huggy wuggy staring at children. If some creep is hiding nanny cams in our mascot's eyeballs, then. Something that needs to be taken seriously. What Rowan was seeing wasn't nanny cams. It was the latest of the Bigger Bodies Initiative, 1170, and he was watching kids. That was his job. He was the newest security hire. While we pride ourselves primarily on our high quality toys and excellent child care, we also pride ourselves on our security. Naturally, Playtime Co. wasn't a fan of Rowan figuring this out, so they shut him down. Wait, that was really sus. Hold on. Korean fried chicken is normally kind of expensive, but that was like super cheap. What the fuck did I order? Did I did I order like one piece of chicken for each flavor I got? I'm so confused. No, I didn't.
All right. I just want to apologize. I was wrong. But intimidation wasn't enough. Rowan kept digging. He was an IT guy after all, so he had to build poison. an FTP server They're gonna with fuck all this the information up, that he gathered. Even after they sabotaged his car to try and make it seem like it was an accident. They've been using all the, the money they've made to experiment with people. You ordered human uh, flesh, Nathan Wanker. I'm gonna release everything. Run. But Playtime Co. couldn't allow that. The doctor couldn't allow that. And this is where Boxy Boo came in. When Rowan went to investigate, Boxy was waiting. And when the moment was right, sprung out and swallowed him whole. Damn! This would be the fate for all employees who defied Playtime Co. In the most recent ARG, we've received an email from... I think I prefer the second one over the third one, Wonder. ...puncture wounds in his abdomen, and likely hidden for weeks before being found. This seems to be referencing hey, Rowan, who, even after death, continued to be a nuisance. Now they needed some sort of cover-up story for the police. So going forward, the doctor would correct his mistake. He would try a different approach, one that would make bad employees disappear permanently. In that final FTP dump from Rowan, we got a disciplinary notice for Patty Hall. This name has only come up once before, as an employee who sabotaged the paint machines causing toys to be recalled and the company to lose profits. We see that for her disciplinary action, she was sent to Storage B by none other than the doctor. And the next time we see Storage B is in the restricted relocation video from 1995, a room filled with bloodied and dead toys, except for a giant kissy missy in the middle of the room. In that final FTP dump, Rowan specifically calls out that people are being experimented on. And then we find Patty Hall being sent to the place where we see a bigger bodies initiative experiment. Coincidence? I think not. I think this was the fate of Patty Hall. She defied Holy. Playtime Co. and the doctor, and so he turned her into Kissy Missy, where there would be no more trace of her for police. Not Damn. all these experiments were complete successes, though. In a report from the newest ARG, we learn of experiments 1186 and 1187. And while we don't know exactly what went wrong, we do know that there were, quote, shortcomings. So it may not be that there are almost 200 living toys active in the factory, but rather that there are around 200 attempts, some of which were successful like Huggy Wuggy, and others that were less so. Regardless, that is a lot of victims. And given that Rowan's report started in early 1991, and the latest experiment number we have is 1222 for Mommy Longlegs, who was invented before her toy was released in 1991, it means that all of this happened in a single year, 1991. You gotta appreciate the efficiency of these guys. And so they needed to develop a more effective way to infuse the orphans they'd acquired with the poppy mixture that was vital to the transformation process. So they invented okay. something that we've seen throughout the teasers for chapter three, poppy gas. Like I mentioned earlier, poppies have been used throughout history to help kids sleep. And so converting it into a gas is the perfect way to not only get poppies into their bloodstream, but also to sedate them, get them to listen, obey, to sleep, not putting up any kind of fight. All you gotta do is give your staff members fun gas masks, like the Mickey Mouse masks from World War II, colored in play Co's signature red and yellow so they appear less scary to kids. But they still needed a delivery method, a way to administer the gas to the kids. Kids. And this is where the newest ARG once again comes in with the answer. We've received a couple of reports from staff members of the play care that tell us a little bit more about the operation that was going on there. The one child that keeps coming up in multiple reports is Theodore Gramble, who apparently was caught sneaking around the play care looking for files that a quote unquote friend told him to find. Quote from the report I don't know his name. Nobody else knows he exists. Naturally, the counselor's suspicious of this, as the requests for files seem way too specific to be made by just a seven year old. Huh. A mysterious figure hiding in the shadows that kids don't know exist and is looking for files about the inner workings of play care sounds to me like theodore is getting a visit from 1006 and that's exactly what's happening literally as i'm writing this episode we got another load of images from the arg and one of them is a drawing of theodore sitting on his bed with a familiar black arm reaching out from under it the prototype is using theodore to try and stop the entire operation to free the kids but sadly theodore doesn't work out quite as intended according to a transcript he tried to escape but something malfunctioned and he got electrocuted stopping his heart and badly burning him Fortunately, Fortunately, and unfortunately, there's a way to save him. At the same time all this was going Bring on, Playtime doll. was developing Experiment 1188, based on one of their newest toy lines, the Smiling Critters, specifically the Purple Cat Catnap. This experiment would have massive claws, oh. be able to change its size, and be fitted with, quote, a gas delivery apparatus at the back of the esophagus. This toy was going to be the perfect way to administer the poppy gas to the kids at the play care. They'd just hug and play with their new favorite toy while it slowly released its hallucinogenic gas. And right at the bottom of the document, on the name of potential cat candidates for conversion, who do we find? None yeah. other than Theodore. He had a horrible accident, maybe even close to death, so they gave him eternal life by turning him into the new villain for Chapter 3. In the Chapter 3 teaser, we see phrases like, the original saved me, I rejoice in him, which are heavily implied to have been written by Catnap. He worships the original creation. He wishes to do nothing but serve him. Yeah, that's pretty deep. It's just like how the prototype, the original creation, spoke to Theodore, asking him to- They're do full like documents and shit, files. man. Theodore and his new gas powers were put to good use by Playtime Co. No 
child would ever step out of line like he did again. We see drawings from children about their new giant purple friend, but not all of them are happy. Some kids seem to have nightmares thanks to the red gas that comes out of their new friend's mouth. The worst case that we see is that of Marie Payne, whose sedation thanks to the poppy gas is so severe that she can't even wake up from the nightmares anymore. But while the employees caring for us, uh, the three in six minutes. Got exactly what they wanted. On a transfer request we find in the water treatment control room of chapter two, we see the name of the child that would eventually become Mommy Longlegs, Marie oh. Payne. Mommy was eventually moved to the game station, mainly because her trauma at the hands of playtime led her to be violent towards adults, but motherly and caring towards the children, which made her the perfect fit. Mommy is the last experiment that we know of at this time, experiment 1222, but I suspect that there are many more based on this photo that- So we Mommy was a child? Like, showing the company in its heyday they age in, in their, 1992, um... a year after Mommy Longlegs' creation, but there's still plenty of kids playing around at the game station. More yeah, we are, we are, we are. Taken to play care for sedation it's fucked. and conversion. But this is where the tides turn for Playtime Co. Later that year, Huggy Wuggy escapes the facility in the first of many incidents where the bigger bodies monsters start rebelling against the company under the command of 1006. This would come to a climax in 1995 with an event known as the Hour of Joy, a combined effort of all the toys united against the Playtime Co. staff. So far, all we've seen of this event is an analog video of Kissy Missy going missing with blood splatter and claw marks everywhere, but we know it doesn't just involve her. In the background of the tape, we can hear screaming from staff members in the factory. The same screams that are heard in the back of the final VHS tape from Chapter 1. Coordination and cooperation is evidently within his skill set, as well as the skill set of all other experiments of his type, though still missing. Today's events are no doubt in relation to him. 1006 orchestrated the entire event, the hour of joy, bringing joy and freedom to the children that he failed all those years ago. With the Playtime staff now either entirely killed or kicked out of the facility, business essentially stops. However, the company tried to remain open in an unusual way. The spin-off title Project Playtime has us take control of extraction specialists, gathering toy parts to be what extracted the fuck is that? turned into parts of the Bigger Bodies initiative. Here's the job. You need to collect toy parts to make a giant toy. Get that giant toy on the train, then leave. At what this the point, hell? Why that looks the fun. Bodies toys are running the factory and hunting us down, trying to feed the many toys that remain, while also stopping us from making more monstrosities That's like cool. themselves. They are trying to build haven't played it, no. Clear I didn't, even know, I, I didn't even know. I didn't even know it existed. Still releasing phases with new VHS tapes and secret messages from 1006, all with the theme of "Hey, we're the ones to blame for this." You wonder who we are, but why? You should know. It was your doing that made us. us. Oh, we said that. Which leads us all to today and the main game. You know, the game that we actually play. Ten years after the factory closed, we show up. A former employee determined to make things right. But you, you worked here. Regular employees like Rowan weren't aware of what was going on. So for Mommy to know us, we had to have been working at the game station, running experiments on these kids. We were some form of an executive here. Supporting this huh. theory is the fact that there are five executive slides down to the game station in Chapter 2. We know all four of these characters. And the last one, well, the last one's missing a name. I believe that was our slide. If oh. you take the letters on the floor and rearrange them, you don't really get any sort of clear-cut name. In a previous episode, I landed on Jamie B. Honey, only to realize after the fact that I'd actually accidentally swapped an A for an E. Plus, if you look closely, there are spaces for five letters on top and six letters on the bottom. The best I can come up with based on those new criteria is Ebony Jemaya. It's not great, <gasps> so clearly it's still up for grabs. Regardless, I still maintain that we were the head of production for Playtime, the only department on this chapter two floor that's left to the floor, too. with Eddie being the head of research, Stella being the head of play, and Leith Pierre being the head of innovation. Yeah, she we said she knows me. We were involved in the production of these toys, and so we've come back to undo the sins of the past. Or probably more likely to bury them once and for all. We show up, we knock out Huggy, we free Poppy from her case, we split Mommy in two and get her dragged away by 1006, escaping the game station only for something to derail us outside of play care. And there you have it, folks, the complete timeline of Poppy Playtime so far. Almost entirely based on fact, with a couple of theories thrown in there that are very well supported. That was, um, so chapter three effect all this. Okay, hello, all right, Clocker. The cat? Will the smiling critters be able to be saved, or is it too late for them? Or water, and there's no one who does that special flavorings, colorings. Oh, this shit was badass, actually. Said, I drank some of that at Crispy Spice. Actually, did Crispy end up using that sponsor? Because I think he used footage of me drinking. <laughs> it was super awkward. Um, do we want to look at uh, 35 minutes? Fuck. Hey guys, Ed, sit back. That is, until and sending our hands, they reach a exit. Body.
bodies experiments were dealt at the hands of the Playtime Co. employees responsible for their creation. The protagonist realizes that the only way out of these caves is through the playhouse, an area of the playcare Ollie explicitly warned them not to enter. Moments after setting foot in the playcare, it becomes obvious why, as they are ambushed by a host of miniature smiling critters, and they are not <laughs> friendly. To ward off these plushy sized predators, we must use the flesh. Many critters crawl inside his skin and take hold of his body. They That's then use Dog Day to hunt our hero down as they flee the maze like halls and crawl spaces of the playhouse. We narrowly escape Dog Day thanks to the purple hand, which springs a player across a. Ollie explains that the chest types were where the heads of each apartment worked from. Which production line found good homes with yeah. confidence of their misdeeds. The protagonist eventually locates the power room and, after rewiring the electrical circuits, is able to get the backup power online. The only way back is through an area of the building filled to the brim with red smoke. The author catnap finally addresses the player and instructs them to perch the center into the gas production factory. The no worries, Crystal. All good, all good. Let me just see what they said at the end here. Quickly and break, finally able to head back down the 1895. To the other bigger bodies' experiments designs. And back now, the hatch seals shut behind them, and our intrepid duo are plunged into darkness, leaving Kissy to a fate unknown. We're coming! Just hold on! Come on, come on, go faster! Kissy! And with that, we come to the end of this video, and a look at the story of Poppy Playtext video. Well, Alright, let's see all the VHS types. Understanding, I can never get any. Faith, the common man has lost it. When you look around at the world today, what one thing do you think it needs more of? I asked around once. Money, I never have enough. Understanding, I can never get any. Faith, the common man has lost it. Each answer was different. And We're I about to jump on persona. But I think each was also missing. Yes. Something, something simple. You see, not one of them could muster a smile. Oh, so you a wanted to change? A smile is hope. A smile is love. A smile is understanding. And there is nothing more gratifying to my soul than being the reason for a child's smile. To be the spark that ignites all their hopes and dreams. For it is only through hopes and dreams that we may create a better world. One where our children need not be afraid. One where they are protected. After all, this company and its toys are nothing without them. These children deserve to smile. They deserve to love. And they deserve a safe home. That is why it is with enormous pleasure that as the founder of Playtime Co., I announce... Playcare! Our very own on-site orphanage. But it's not only that. It's a school, a playhouse, a place to belong. Our very own ecosystem beneath the surface, dedicated in every inch and detail to ensuring a Why beneath smile. the surface? Why was teachers and counselors, mothers and fathers, until such a time they have all of that in you. May play care bring joy, inspiration, and smiles to all who enter these doors. For what gives life its meaning if not a smile? All right, Miss Harper. One point two million. Wait, is this the this is the Aussie guy? Right? What's up, guys? And welcome. Yeah, real. Can't have the red smoke in the room. Holy shit. That's like the guarded oh, algo. That's the guarded algo right there. The very best care we can offer. You have my word. But this is important. Did Marie happen to describe what she saw? The yes. daughter story? Oh, so she said, said, uh. Explain the situation. Spare no detail. So this well, is okay, all the children were good. This is um All right. Kissy? Miss Harper. Please explain the situation. Spare no detail. Well, luck any not, all the children were getting asleep. It was peaceful, quiet. Catnap had the red smoke in the room. Then suddenly, there was this scream. <sighs> Nightmares happen, I know, but this, I mean, dilated pupils and quivering lips. The way her eyes darted around the room, and I swear. Yeah, it's gameplay. Fusions is, um, boiling beneath her skin. He's coming to the chat before. Miss Harper, What's up, Piper Cheese? How are you? provide the very best care we can offer. You have my word. But this is important. Did Marie happen to describe what she saw? Yes. A monster, she said, said that it was colorless. Gosh. I could feel the poor little heart pounding. For her, it was right there. And her movements, they were so wild. Arms flailing, legs kicking. Hmm. Uh, Kay Kona. I wanted to talk to her, see how she's doing. I, I just, I really need to hear her voice right now. That would not be advised, Miss Harper. There are many concerns we must address at this time. But vital, show normal, and we'll continue to monitor. She'll be okay. No!
Interesting. Yeah, I remember because he was looking at a picture of a little girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's speed through this. What the fuck? I did order today. I mean, it's gonna get here in like fucking one hour from now. Greetings, employees, and welcome to your first day here in Playtime. We're certain that in oh, the wait, hold on. find your new family here every bit as loving and supportive as your own. Feel free to wander the halls, sit in the mess for lunch, or oh, what the fuck? It already got picked up. Wait. Oh, wait, it's gonna be here in 20 minutes. Are continuously pushed, or join the counselors of Playcare, whose diligence and care for our children will help shape a brighter future. Just you see. Now, every one of you has your part in that future, so should you come back tomorrow feeling yeah, happy where you are us. or what you've done? Worry not, for your supervisor is here and happy to listen. And, should you come back years later, your conscience finally getting the better of you, may you descend into the dark and the dust, finding all that awaits you are incomprehensible horrors. Have a good night, Ocean. We'll see you later. Each eager that they might find you. Perhaps they'd smile at you from a shadow. They're smiling what are you? We've seen this on. And plastic, watching and waiting patiently for their turn at a warm welcome. Guys, Perhaps I forgot to order you food. I'm so fucking sorry. World you left. A world I'm so fucking now. sorry. Welcome home. You guys can have one of my one of my ah, chickens. Oh, What's up, Hoops? How are you? What the fuck? My bad. My bad. This week, Doctor White here has selected our very own Samuel Lee. Now, before he goes, let's all give Sam one last goodbye, shall we? With me. One, two, three. Goodbye, Sam. Subject designated one, three, two, two. Yeah, you guys can suck in the boat. I got burned in this boat. <laughs> Uh, I'll leave like um. Actually, I ordered pickles. I ordered a dollar twenty worth of pickles to um, to what's it called um. To round the order off to thirty five dollars, so I so it'd be cheaper. No, not that bucking. That's not what I said. Definitely not that. Definitely not that. Um. All right, cool. That's badass. All right, sick. I love puppy play time. I was just more concerned with the uh, kissy, kissy, Missy Kissy's um law there.